Hey everybody, Masvid and A4, and today we are here to talk about IDW Sonic, aka the comic continuity, the brand new one. And I've got two special guests with me. First up, we have Shad. Bye. And we have Super Ice. Hey, how's it going? Yeah, so, um... I'm, I'm a big Sonic fan, obviously, and I like to talk about Sonic, and I brought... Two amigos who also like Sonic. We all like Sonic, right, guys? Hopefully, yes. You like Sonic? A a apparently. Hmm. <laughs> Strange. Strange, isn't it? But the Sonic Channel says otherwise, man. Yeah, I mean, I mean, you're not wrong. Uh, it gets pretty heated in there. <laughs> it's like an abusive relationship. You try to leave, but you just can't. Yeah, that's that's my best. <laughs> analogy for Sonic the Hedgehog for me, anyway. I just take the abuse. Oh, oh, okay, okay, I, I see what, what Chad, is, Chad is into now, nowadays. <laughs> Anyways, um... So yeah, um, we're here to talk about IDW Sonic, uh, which is from the comic book series. Uh, at the moment of this video, there is 28 issues, but... For this video in particular, we'll be talking about the first arc. I don't know if it has an, an official an official name. I guess the Neo arc or a new arc I mean, or battle for I think they refer to it as Year One. So Year One arc. Okay, I guess we can do that. So, um, how did all of you hear about Sonic IDW, and when did you start reading it? Any of you can go first. <laughs> New guy, go first. Okay. Uh, I heard about it by the time it was announced, so like two days after the Archie comics got canceled was uh. when they announced it. <laughs> so that's when I heard about it, and I started reading it the street date it came out. So cool. I was there since the beginning. Cool, cool, cool. How about you, Shad? The exact same way. <laughs> okay, fair. I, I, Following that, Archie got fucking killed. I was like, hmm. <laughs> and then hearing, her, like, IDW was getting this shit. And I've already, like, I've, like, been through with IDW because they did some of, some of the Transformer stuff. So I was like, yeah, they alright. They go into good hands. Fair, fair. Uh, for me, uh, I'm, I'm actually I'm a bit different from these two. So... I'm I'm a very big Archie Sonic fan. If anything, out of all the continuities of Sonic, the comics are easily my favorite. So, when when uh, the comics got uh, the classic lawsuit into reboot into another reboot into the Death True combo, I got I got pretty butt hurt. Probably like one of the most butt hurt I've ever been. <laughs> so when I heard. Uh, there was an IDW Sonic, I just didn't care because, um, Archie Continuity, they almost had 300 comics, and I was already annoyed when they got a Genesis Wave reboot the first time, and then it happened again, and I just... Oh boy, do you love those reboots? Yeah, gotta love those reboots, and I'm just sitting here reboots. saying to myself, do I really want to restart again? So I, I honestly paid zero attention to IDW Sonic. I forget, maybe it was comic number 8 or 9, where I got somewhat interested, and I read a little bit, but I didn't read too much, and then I just kind of forgot about the comics. Then I believe 6 or 7 months ago, when people were talking about the current arc that's going on right now, I'm like, you know what, screw it, I'll just, I'll just read it. I'm not happy with the games right now, I might as well do something. <laughs> Bro, this is just forces too. It, it, it really is. It really is. But I'll take it. Yeah. Well, yeah. I just, just I'm, I'm still, I'm, I'm, I will still forever be butt, for, butt hurt how, how Archie went down. But it's, it's in the past now. <laughs> right. I say we blame Pinders. Yes. Um. You know what? Always. <laughs> yes. <laughs> blame him. He helped <laughs> the demise of Archie. <clears throat> Oy. But, um, yeah, let's start with issue one, aka a new adventure featuring Tails. So, I guess I'll just throw a summary of 
every issue and then we can just talk about it from there. So for IDW Sonic, because again, this is a reboot, um, they actually take continuity right after Sonic Forces. Whether that's a good or bad thing, you tell me. But the comic series takes place immediately after Forces. Um, Eggman normally comes back after his plans get thwarted and all that stuff. But surprisingly, he isn't back and it's just his robots. So what did you guys think of the very first issue? thought it was neat. A little neat yeah. beginning, I guess. It was a decent introduction. Yeah, um, I, I, I agree. Um, not really much, so... Yeah, not, not, really not much, not much really happened. It's, it's just, enter town here, it's getting attacked by, by robots, and we don't that know... That was just like the first few. Yeah, like, it, it was just literally, enter town here, team up, beep, robot, leave. Yeah. Um, one thing I'm... They referenced heroes in the first page, which was nice, because they showed the egg gave her off. <laughs> I think they showed the egg, uh, <laughs> Wyvern too. Is that the, the final boss for Sonic I'm looking story? at the first page, I see the egg viper, uh, the egg emperor, uh, the egg dragoon, the generations version, mm -hmm. and then the death egg robot from forces. <laughs> yeah, um, one thing right off the bat, um... I'm, I'm gonna be saying this like a lot, a lot. I've been saying this for for years. Um, so Ian Flynn, they they brought him back for IDW Sonic, which I'm which I'm really grateful for because the way Archie Sonic went down, I thought like a lot of the artists and the writers who were in charge of Archie Sonic did be like kind of kind of screwed because there's there's nothing Sonic related to do, and the games have different writers and stuff like that, but. I'm glad IDW picked up almost all, I think all, maybe not all of them, but uh, most of them. Most of them. Most, most of them, them who them. wanted to come, most of them who wanted, wanted to come to back. come back, yeah. yeah. And I, I, the first issue, they just handled Sonic's personality perfectly, which just made me very, very happy because, again, with the games the last, the last several years, uh, Sonic's personality has been mostly a miss. And, uh... It's it's refreshing. He's just always on the move, uh, doing his own thing, being carefree, but also being heroic at the same time. Doesn't want to be in the same place uh, all the time. I like it. Now when do we fire the current game writers? Uh, as soon as possible, please. <laughs> as soon as possible. <laughs> just give Ian the job. Uh, I wish. Uh, like again, I've been saying that for years. Just 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 hand the torch to him. Because if we have at least a, a, a good story, that means we won't get Green Hill shoehorned in unless Sega really pressures him, saying like, "Hey, hey, hey, Ian, you gotta, you gotta put Green Hill in, or, or, or I'm gonna die. I'm gonna lose it." Because even if he does put it in, he'd at least find a decent way to describe why it's back here again. That's true. Exactly. Or why they're back there again. Yeah. Even though he, what was it? Even though, like, Sega's always, like, on his ass half the time. <laughs> yeah. He at least finds a little workaround he can do. Yeah, he, he finds some loophole to, to make the fans happy, but also for it to make sense, because he understands these characters a lot more than anybody at Sega can. And I will... Should I'll... we talk about that? Because that is technically year two. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I mean, we can talk about that if you want. Okay, I feel like we do need to address that. Because I just feel bad for Ian. Yeah. So, later on in the comics, he tried to do something for Shadow, oh. where he was going to have him originally take off his inhibitor rings, and I'm bad saying it just wouldn't let him do that. I I got mad. I got mad when I heard that. Like, no rings. Die. Easily, easily my favorite yeah. moment of Shadow, like, ever, and this is coming from my least favorite Sonic game, was... Um, in the end of Shadow Story in Sonic 06, when Mephilus has Team Dark surrounded, and talking about, it's like, why won't you join me? The world is going to hate you and imprison you because they're be afraid of your power. And then Shadow, he's like sitting there or standing there all badass with squad behind him saying, I will fight like I always have and just destroys all of them. It's like, oh, I'm so good. Why? Why, Sega? Why? Is that actually the only time in the games he's actually taken off his inhibitories? Because there's only one other time I can think of, and that's Sonic uh, X. Yeah, Sonic X. Yeah. Yeah. Sonic 06 probably like the only time he's ever done that. 
Yeah. That's probably why they wouldn't let him do it, because that game, that time got retconned, so he's never technically done it in the game. That's true. But there's also... No, they'll do it. They could still do it, but ever since right. Sonic 06, when has Shadow have gotten a big role? Like, actual mm -hmm. Shadow, because Sonic and the Black Knight, that's not really Shadow, it's Lancelot. I'd say Forces? the closest would... Forces would be the closest. Yeah. And then with his own little DLC thing. Yeah, and then they made him be high with infinite power or whatever, and then he just sidelines most of the game anyway. Except for when he takes us a clone, so we don't get to fight Shadow. Uh... <laughs> no Shadow boss foot. Uh, hey, adventure it, fans! Just, Shadow's it, it, here. Just, Chaos is here. <laughs> it just be nations all over again. Yeah. <laughs> run, run. Pretty much. Uh, yeah, um, I, I do hope, um, Sega gives Ian Flynn more, more breathing room. Like, I kind of want to play Devil's Advocate in the way, saying, like, maybe they're too afraid of letting the writers get too much of what they want. Because if we, if we go back to Archie Sonic, there's been a lot of times in the past where the, the comments get very, <laughs> very questionable on what they're trying to do. Well, you don't have to push it that far, just do the new 252 mandates. Yeah, I agree. Uh, this, 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 I don't know what's going on with Sega, I, with Sonic. I, I honestly couldn't tell you. It's hard to get around. Stop either. trying to turn Dude. Shadow into Vegeta. <laughs> you know what's going on, bro? Yeah, but... Japan. Yeah. <laughs> yeah you're right. This is why we need to give Sonic to the Americans. What does Japan ever care about Sonic? Uh, Ever, but like they're the reasons why most issues like this. <laughs> yeah, it sadly is. Uh, so in uh, also in issue one, uh, Tails makes his first appearance in IDW Sonic, and what made me very happy right off the bat is Tails is actually useful and not a wuss. <laughs> like um. Uh, in these in these towns, um, there's a bunch of I was about to say Mobians. Am I allowed to say that? <laughs> a bunch of uh, ad animal no, characters. No, a bunch of avatars for forces. Sure, they all use customization options. <laughs> sure, a bunch <laughs> of uh, avatars, people, and and they fight back with their wisp ones and whatever. But they can't really take on the super bad next, So that's when Sonic and which and, was another hero's reference because it's the hammer dudes yeah pretty much and uh yeah it's 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 fun seeing tails just get into the fray of battle because again since Sonic 06 you don't really see tails jumping in the combat that often lest we forget yeah he's usually either the chaperone or post colors and onward he's hiding behind some rock or something and not really helping at all so it was it was fun seeing tails being himself <laughs> yeah. and then we changed the character again kidding yeah oh gosh let me do um actually before before we move to to issue two um one thing that was really really weird um oh, well not really more so weird but more so how you can tell that there's one good writer and then there's Sega of Japan is um, there's one panel in the first issue where Sonic's basically saying he wants to, to leave and uh, go explore and see what else is going on with Eggman's robots but Tails he gets scared he's like Sonic I don't want you to get to get hurt again and he's obviously referring to um, the beginning of forces when they it's run into Eggman stop. yeah where Sonic literally got the tar beaten out of him and it's funny how Tails is worried about him that it would happen again if he went out alone. Even though the first time he got beat up, Tails was there and he was just watching him. And he's like, I'm gonna check the uh, infinite's power level while it's doing absolutely nothing while everybody else beats up my best friend and I'm just gonna go leave. I mean, to be fair, he's not as strong as that man. Yeah, just still. He he's still not really help. the one who's supposed to be doing the fighting. <laughs> you can yeah, still uh, help. Help with what? Get his ass whooped too? Oh, well, at least he's, 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 he's on his own. 
Yes, he has. But like, is that you're watching the, ma- the dude who like stops this shit like every fucking day? Get his ass whooped <laughs> <laughs> right in front of you. <laughs> if you see that happening, what the fuck do you think you're gonna do? Yamcha, go help me fight Jared. <laughs> Literally. <laughs> <laughs> You know, you know what? Fair point, but but um, as we're gonna, I'm going to bring up later. Like Tails is smart. At least he can try to do something witty or smart to tactically help him. I don't know. Uh. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, issue one's uh... usually the trope with these kinds is that they're too scared to help and they can't think at the time. Yeah, at least from that's what I know about it. Apparently. Yeah, fair enough. <laughs> He's too busy watching Sonic. Get fucked. <laughs> <laughs> Whoa, he's faster than Sonic! Uh, anyway, uh... Tails, help me, please! <laughs> help! <laughs> Uncle! Orange! What's my safe word? Sonic 4. Sonic 4. I just want to bring this up. Okay, so at the end of the first issue, we learn who's doing all the robot attacks. But we know it's not Eggman. Did you guys guess the twist before it actually got revealed? I did not guess the twist. I didn't know who it was, actually. I, I had an inkling. I just I didn't think they were actually that it was still Eggman. Oh, he thought it was still Eggman? Okay. Yeah. In some, like, some shape of what I had in a subject, it was, like, still Eggman or, like, somebody working under that man? <laughs> like, yeah, yeah one of those, I'm with uh, Chad. Was it, like, <laughs> what was it? Where they, like, got, like, some dude working under him, posing as, like, him or some shit, or not posing as him, or like posing as somebody <laughs> above him or some shit. Yeah, like um, if this was like Archie or another continuity, I would think it's like, oh, maybe it's Snively, or maybe Wait, it's. Bro, he Scrap locked up for being horny. <laughs> somebody from the egg <laughs> region. <laughs> God, the horny just I... killed him. Oh, I'm so sorry for that. <laughs> uh, Sn- Snively, Snively got got done dirty. The Iron Queen. I got that done dirty. I, I love that arc out. <laughs> that rip. was just so they could write about Yeah. Somewhat. Rip. Yeah, rip Snively. But yeah, it's not like... Because I don't think Orbot or Cuba would be capable enough to, to handle an army. They're like... Uh, I guess the humor part of Eggman's army for Modern Sonic. So, right. Well, Cubot can do it, bro. <laughs> <laughs> Cowboy <laughs> Cubot. <laughs> it's Zavok! It's Zavok, oh my god. Oh, we'll, get, we'll get to the Deadly Six eventually. <laughs> because we can't get rid of them. <laughs> we really can't. Uh, They're not bad characters, they're just one note as fuck. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, this comic tried to save them. Both I continuities mean, tried to save them. <laughs> it's still going. And Archie kind of did it. But kind of. Kind of. Kind of. Kind of. Yeah. I- IDW's trying trying yeah trying is the word here so um issue number two is uh, the fallout part two of four because issues one through four is kind of like its own mini arc the introduction to all of this four is like a little mini arc yeah like every four yeah. issues pretty much it's uh that trend they're keeping with uh with archie because i know they did that with sonic universal right oh yeah yeah they did. Yeah, so, uh, Sonic's new adventure continues, and when he comes across another town that we don't care the name of, his old pal Amy arrives just in time to join the fight. So, um, curious from both of you, what are your thoughts of Amy Rose in general? Because I hear, I hear lots of mixed stuff, and I don't see Amy being talked about all that much. I like the changes. I like the changes. They can handle her well. Archie Comics has done it time and time again. Yeah. I don't hate her here. She's fine. Not really much to say on her. I like the whole, like, trying to change her up from, like, being a fan girl to, like, kind of being her own thing. Yes. Right. I like when they give her, give her that as a backseat option instead of it being her defining trait. I 100% agree on that, which is uh, obviously uh, Archie continuity of Amy. I, I loved her a lot because, like, like you guys just said, 
because um, I I think since Sonic X, I found her to be very annoying, like Sonic X and onward, because she just became a lot more bratty and bossy, and just all she cares about. I got a guy in Sonic's pants, even though he doesn't have any. And gotta um, get in those pants, bro. Yeah. So I, I do like I do like how she's portrayed in this uh, issue in particular too. Um, I also like the the note that she makes in this issue that uh, that um, she's quote unquote commanding the resistance because I, I I never believed Knuckles would be able to handle an army, especially with Operation Big Wave. This <laughs> <laughs> Operation Big Wave. Especially <laughs> Operation. I mean. I mean, um, I won't confuse Boom Knuckles and and, Arch and Main Knuckles, because because Knuckles isn't stupid, he's just brash and hot-headed, gullible, and, and gullible. Yeah, so I didn't. Pretty I, stupid. <laughs> I, I wouldn't I wouldn't go that far for, for okay. Maybe sometimes he's stupid of how Eggman tricks him. Sometimes. Yeah. <laughs> Being generous, sir. <laughs> Very generous. Shut up. But uh, I guess making Amy. Uh, the quote-unquote leader of the resistance is something else that we can give her to do. So. I don't know. Like anytime I I hear of the res the leader of the resistance, it doesn't hold too much water with me because of how forces handled that in the entire. I think they just gave him the title just so we can feel good. Yeah. Yeah, but I liked um a lot of the combos Amy and Sonic were doing. It, uh, it gave me a lot of uh, Sonic Chronicle vibes. I know that game's bad, but I, I happen to like it, unfortunately. <laughs> they understood character. They did. It's just everything else was bad. Yeah, yeah, 100% agree. Add the character. Your just, game is just mad fucking ugly. <laughs> Why is the, the bubble th sound effect playing when Amy hits her hammer? <laughs> <laughs> Why are robots making puke sounds? <laughs> 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 that sound effect is so dumb. They are. I don't know. I don't know what they were smoking. I, I really don't. I do. <laughs> you do. They were smoking. What was it? Bioware. Yeah, <laughs> it was Bioware. The B right. team, apparently. Wasn't that EA or some shit? Or I think no. no I think it was well, Bioware. EA owns Bioware. So. Yeah. No, no, no. That's wondering why that game looking like ass. <laughs> <laughs> Says I wouldn't give him that profit. Yeah, that's funny. Um, I also do like uh, the banter of Amy and Sonic throughout that that arc, where Amy's like, "Please come to the Resistance," and Sonic's like, "Nope, not for being a, a prick or anything." Is because that's just how he is. Right. Yeah, I'm good. <laughs> yeah, and and plus he didn't want he don't want the coochie. <laughs> <laughs> no, we can't. He legally can't say go live. Uh, yeah, <laughs> they right. literally won't. Yeah. He Oh yeah, okay, I'm actually glad you brought that up, Ice. Um, I think the answer would be no, but uh, I know Archie Sonic liked to, uh, to throw in a bunch of romances in their stories. Do you think IDW Sonic will try that, or do you think they won't? Most likely not, because they won't let you get away with the simplest <laughs> of things. I doubt they're going to let him do that. I <laughs> doubt they would, <laughs> but like, I've been surprised before, so it's, it's a possibility. Very small. But at best, we're probably gonna get like maybe like a little hint, and that's it. Yeah, I mean, I can I can love that. Possibly. Yeah. But yeah, aside from issue two, they they just beat up super bad nicks, um, and they just question a lot more. It's like, wow, these these robots are a lot more uh, tactical instead of being random. So. They know somebody's behind it, but it's not Eggman, because Eggman's a narcissist, and he would have said by now, Hey, it's me! I'm back! I'm going to build Eggman Land, or whatever he wants to do, so... Woohoo, Eggman Land, baby! <laughs> <laughs> I wonder Got who it. could be in charge of this lead. And, and still, at this point, I still had no idea who it was. So... <laughs> it kept me Nobody on Nobody... Oh yeah, I forgot to mention one other thing. One, one other thing. Uh, for issue number two, um, the, the guy who did the pencils is named Adam of Bryce Thomas. I love his pencil art. It's so good. I love it. I mean, I, lo I love I'm all of I'm trying to remember if he's new for IDW, because I do not remember him for Archie, but it's very anime-inspired in his pencil I, art. 
I did a wiki search beforehand, and I think he was, like, at the very tail end of Archie, and he mostly did cover arts. Like, because I know for uh, the ID, or for the cover arts for these issues, there's more than one. There's, like, a, the original... <laughs> fucking eight of them. Yeah, that pretty the much. The original four had, like... 20 different covers. Yeah. It was amazing. Yeah, so some can slip through the cracks, but they're all they're all really good. Alright, so uh, we'll move on to issue number three, which is part three of four of this of this mini arc. So it's uh, featuring uh, everybody's favorite and uh, only Echidna, thanks Penders, and uh, brought two brand new characters. <laughs> So, uh, Sonic and Knuckles team up, and it's just like old times until two new villains show up. With a group of villagers under attack, even the combined forces of these two heroes be enough to take down Rough and Tumble. So what do you guys think of, of this issue? Everyone dies. Everyone dies, rip. <laughs> Everyone dies. Revive them with the Dragon Balls. Eh. Hmm. I still like Sonic and Knuckles chemistry. Yep. I still do. They had these they had some likable chemistry. I didn't really care for Rough and Tumble like good. Fair still fair don't. fair enough. Um like I get where they're going, bro, and they're not bad, I just don't care for them. <laughs> yeah. You know, it's not this issue, but like later on they get just goofy enough for me to like them. Okay. You know what um Rough and Tumble reminded me of the first time I saw them? Well, actually, the first my first thought was uh, uh, Jeff Geoffrey St. John or whatever from Archie. Oh, guy. Jeffrey St. John. Ah, yeah. the prick. Yeah, the prick. But um, the traitor. <laughs> He's a UA traitor. Yes, <laughs> <laughs> <Best> too. <laughs> but uh, actually, all no. along it with some skunk. This is this is very far fetched, but uh, they they reminded me of Sleep and Dingo from Sonic Underground. Probably Gosh, really if that's not a callback. <laughs> yeah. I don't know if that was intended or not, but uh that's that's what they reminded me of. <laughs> I, I I normally I'd say no, but we brought Breezy back from the dead, so Yeah. <laughs> that is true. That is very true. Even though I didn't originally know who Breezy was, because I haven't I still to this day, like out of all the Sonic TV shows, I haven't watched uh the adventures of Sonic the Hedgehog fully or Sonic Boom fully, so But uh, probably some of the better ones. But yeah, they're um, they're they're new characters. Uh, lately, when it comes to new characters and Sonic continuity, um, I guess this is just me being, I guess, a bit petty. It's like I don't really care for them as much because the characters that we do have, uh, it's just Sega never uses them. So anytime a new character gets brought in, I just say to myself, why even bother when we're not even going to. <laughs> work hard with the characters that we do have, but... Yo, you got this one game with them, let's kill them off now. Yeah. <laughs> Pretty much. <laughs> right. But yeah. Um... I don't know, I'm a little different, because I like... I feel like later on in the Archie comics, we got some really unique original characters in that continuity, Archie's and they all just though. don't get used anymore. Yeah. Yeah, that's... that's the <laughs> Like the Egg Legion? I love the Egg Those Legion. Those guys concept. rocked. I love them. And then you never see them ever. Yeah. Exactly. Thanks, Penders. Right before the second reboot happened, we were starting to get stuff about the two, and then the reboot happened, so we got nothing. Here's, here's the thing. Like, after the second reboot, like, I was bitter, but, like, I was getting used to it. I'm like, okay, I like what they're doing so far, and then they took it away. Took, they, they took him away from us again. Because <laughs> I think that was... Wasn't that, like, around the time when Archie was going through some shit again? Yes. Some more yeah. legal shit again? Yes. Like, yep. the, the only reason these fucking reboots exist is <laughs> literally because of the legal that. stuff. <laughs> Yes. I think the first no, I think the first time was just for the fuck of it, though. I think. I think the first time was just for the fuck of it. And then like every other time it's literally just cause they ran into some legal trouble and then like it's cause they can't use like certain characters in this world. Yeah. Because they're owned by like other people or whatnot, mm -hmm. and mainly Pinders. Yep. Like, mainly uh... fucking Pinders, cause like Screw him. <laughs> absolutely uh... I'm gonna I kinda like like the little last little the little unleashed arc they had, a little last part they had. During. I did. Yeah. yeah. The little, I guess, whatever that little wave happened. Mm. Whatever that wave happened. I was okay with what they had going on. Me too. But at the same time, it's like, 
We lost so many stuck all lines. over what's going on over there. Yeah. Right. They had the had a whole fucking crossover of it to fucking cover it. Yeah. I, I do I do like how cleverly they, they figured out a way to loophole all the stuff. I think um I don't know if you guys remember it's like a super buff uh what's I think he was a daredevil, like Thrash or something. Thrash, yeah. Oh, I think the way, Tasmanian Death Yeah, yeah. Tasmanian the way they devil. got rid of the echidnas is basically he got a warp rim and he like shoved literally knuckles his entire family in there. <laughs> he shoved all the echidnas in there. <laughs> Uh, oh man! Can you can mention them, but you can never use them. That sucks. But, uh, I actually, can't. I don't even think they can mention. <laughs> I don't think they can. Like, can they even mention like uh, Knuckles' clan from Adventure? The the tenders technically get them too. No, no they should. No, no, no. He should know because uh, no, he only got the, he only gets concept. the characters he made, yeah. which okay. was like it's like Julie Sue and them. So all the Dominican is like Julie like, Sue okay. and uh, Julie Sue. His hell, he got like pretty much I think everyone's fucking parents <laughs> except for <laughs> Sally's. I, I think no, so. I think he even got Sally's. <laughs> yeah, you know, wait, how would he have got Sally's though? Sally's dad either that or Sally like, Evans, like, either like either that or he got her. Brother? No, oh, it was probably brother. her brother. Yeah, maybe her mother, because I, I know her mother also doesn't show up in the show. But I know his. I feel like though. it was just the brother though. But is yeah. that what a secret I know, like, he got, died? I know he got fucking. I know he got fucking Sonic's dad. I know he got Sonic's dad, Sonic's mom. <laughs> you know, got Knuckles' entire family. Uncle Chuck is no longer his family. Did these people even try to save these characters? <laughs> I feel like he got away with so many. And what is he, he got away with, with so many? What is he doing with them? Uh, you know what? I'll uh, let making the a very, making a very ugly comic. Very, very ugly comic. Yeah, yeah. So ugly. It is. It's so ugly. Yeah, it is. <sighs> you hate to see it, really do. Love to see it. <laughs> <laughs> so, so the I don't think beautiful. Yeah. So for uh, issue three, I don't think this will matter that much in the long run, but uh, the town that Sonic and Knuckles are in, it's a town where they distribute uh, the Wispon um, weapons. It's like their Wisp factory, because, you know, uh, apparently all these Wisps decide, or most of them decide to come back, even though at the end of Colors, literally all of them are leaving, but... But whatever, Sega! I see how no, it is with the Sonic Runners said Some game. of them decided to stay! <laughs> <laughs> Screw these people. <laughs> Screw these people, man. Uh, you see, th those are just bad shoehorns. Sega are just bad at shoehorning and stuff. At least, like, Flynn, when he has to do it, or has to work with what he's got, he, he does a decent job at it, you know? Decently oh. enough. Decently enough. Took the Dark Legion. Yeah. That bit. <laughs> yeah. So, uh, yeah, I'm pretty, I'm pretty much indifferent to Rough and Tumble. They're just there. meatheads. They, they, they kind of get bodied when Sonic and Knuckles show up. Like, they, they didn't really didn't stand a chance at all. <laughs> you know, I thought, um, like when they were going to fight, I thought Sonic was gonna fight Rough. I think Rough's a smaller one and Tumble's a bigger one. I thought it was reversed. Yeah. Oh, are they reversed? You see? <laughs> I don't even I don't, know. <laughs> I don't know. You can't even tell because they're, they're just together. That's yeah, just they, how it works. They have their just Team Rocket motto and they just say rough and tumble at the same time. But I like how uh, the bigger one was trying to play basketball with Sonic Spin Dash just for him to get bodied into a table afterwards. Oh, yeah. Rough's the smaller one, tumbles the big one. Okay, it's okay so it was okay. right. And then Rough's like... <laughs> I'm gonna use my skunk powers on you, and Knuckles still punches him anyway. I love Knuckles. <laughs> he punches him through the floor, my you. I, <laughs> 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 I, I like, uh, when, like, afterwards, like, Sonic's like, Yo, dude, Knuckles, you okay? He's like, I'm fine! <laughs> He's, like, crying. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, he did just get hit by, like, thing. Yeah. Um, actually, there's one thing, uh, there's one panel that surprised me a lot. So, um... One of the, uh, I mean, I know she she does uh, artwork for the new IDW Sonic now, but um, she did work for Archie back when Archie Sonic was alive. Uh, 
Her name's Jennifer Hernandez. I follow her on Twitter, so I see her OC a lot. Follow me. So, um, on that one panel, when Rough and Tumble, they're, um, taking advantage of the villagers, and they're, like, feeding them, and, like, fanning them and stuff, I'm like, oh, hey, I recognize those two background characters, so that was pretty cool that, um, IDW Sonic let, uh, an artist get their, their OC season for a minor role. That's a... She still this does. This is a cat, right? <laughs> yeah. She still works for him, dude. Yeah, she does. She still does. Uh, yeah, one of them was a cat. I fr I think they're both cats, actually. They're both cats, but yeah. I think it's the one on the right. Yeah, the one on the it's right, hers. and then there's a lavender one, I think, to the... Yeah. Yeah. I still do question to this day why she followed me, like, out of nowhere. Oh, she still follows me. We're mutuals. Let's go. <laughs> <laughs> hey, respect. What was it? I posted, like, one art thing I did, and then that was... And then she just ended up following me, and I'm like, okay, I Nice. Ended up finding, and then I ended up finding out that she uh, ended up working for like Ar she like worked for Archie, yeah Archie, and then ended up working with IDW to do like yeah. some covers and shit. Yeah, I like her pencils too. Her artwork's super good. She Great. On the yeah, she draws a lot of uh, Tangle uh, too, which is pretty cool. Um, should we move on? We're then? almost there. Yeah, should we move on to issue four? Is there anything else you guys well, want to Hold on, one last yeah. thing I want to mention. Can we talk about how Rough and Tumble actually get bodied by Wisp? <laughs> <laughs> uh, man, I, I found it kind of cheesy how they, how they beat Rough and Tumble. Like, it's like, oh, hey, remember me? I'm Sanic. I saved you all. And then they're like, oh, yeah, I remember that guy. Let's just beat up the bat. Like, why didn't they do that to begin with? That's what I'm wondering. Like how the Wisp just all, they all just teamed up against them. It's like, hey, those people are clearly bad guys. Let's just team up on them. Right. <laughs> oh well. Get them, niggas. <laughs> Get them. Smash them all. All right. Um. On to issue number four, aka the last one of this mini arc, featuring Blaze the Cat and Tango. Let's go. So Sonic comes well, across. Hey, you're alive. <laughs> yeah, Sonic comes across yet another town from the biggest Badnik force he's ever seen. So this force is apparently bigger than the ones that Knuckles, Amy, and Tails fought with him. And luckily, help is on the way from his old friend Blaze, as well as the new hero. Ooh. So... <laughs> I heard she likes to tangle. That's a oh, shitty God. joke, and you should die. <laughs> 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 oh gosh. I'll be here all week, friends. I hope not. So, uh, thoughts on, on Tangle? I like her. I like her. I, I like her. <laughs> A lot of people I, like I, her, I apparently. Just, yeah, I just where we're they, at right I, now. I hope they actually does something with this, this popularity, though. Yeah. I mean, there are, they're, they're starting the whole Sonic Dash thing. Oh, right. I, don't, going. I haven't played Sonic Dash in years, but I'm glad you brought that up, because I completely forgot about that. Yeah, last week you could get Tangle. This week you can get Whisper. Dang. Do you think uh, you think they'll be popular enough to add them into the games? I want this to be the case. They're probably not gonna do I think it, it's but gonna I want get it to, to that point. <laughs> I hope so because again, I'm going to sound like a broken record for however many videos we do on these comics. I wish they would turn these stories into into games. I really wish. <laughs> That's why we hire Ian. Honestly. Exactly. Hire Ian. Exactly. <laughs> hire Ian already. <laughs> whoever whoever did the script of Lost World should have been put down the second the second they pitched that idea. Ugh. Yeah, Tangle's Tangle's cool. I guess her her, her gimmick is uh, she has a she's a lemur, has a really long tail. She can't fly like uh, miles per hour, but She's very flexible with her tail, and I just like her personality. She she would just blend well. She's very upbeat. Cast. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. Uh, I don't know. If, no, I don't know what else to add. She's she's competent and she's fun. <laughs> and you don't really see her much unless you read the little side thing she has. Yeah, which I actually have not read. I only learned about that literally at 3 a.m. last night. So. <laughs> I hadn't read it. The only thing I knew about it was just from, uh, was, I think one of the little villains from her, her thing uh, is like a mimic or something. Like, they can shapeshift. Oh. <laughs> like, they shapeshift into Sonic or something. Oh. Yeah. To, like, cause trouble. Oh, snap. I should probably read that. About all I know from it. 
Okay. He, he was originally a part of uh, Whisper's team, but then he, he turned on their entire, like, fleet, so... Oh, I see. So, um... <laughs> I do like how, um... I do like the Badnik variety in uh, IDW Sonic so far. I, they just take from a bunch of different games and they just mash them all together. So sometimes like, yeah, we have, have the Bagniks, we have the Super, Eggpons, exactly the original Eggpons. Yeah, that's what I really like because in Forces is just some gray, silver, metallic random. <laughs> they look like actual eggs. Yeah. And then they this look one like an army. Yeah, and then this one you have like giant motobugs, giant buzz bombers, and Eggpons. <laughs> And, uh, like in the, the first... The hammer dudes from yeah. Heroes. Yeah. <laughs> I don't like it. And we get the best, best Sonic character that shows up in this issue. Blaze! <laughs> Thoughts on Blaze, Oh, guys? gosh. Blaze. You're a fox. <laughs> you want the horny thoughts or the good thoughts? Uh, yes. Ah, I see. <laughs> oh. <laughs> there is no right answer. <laughs> Blaze no is hot. I'm gonna leave it at that. Furry! Well, she has to be. She uh, has firepower. <laughs> yeah, Blaze. Blaze is like in my top three favorite Sonic characters. It always changes for me, but I I, I love her. She's awesome. Wow, there's only one Sonic character in that shadow. <laughs> <laughs> He's not here yet. We'll get to him. <laughs> what you mean, bro? We got like how many issues? Uh, two more. He, he, or technically one. Because he shows up at the end of the fifth one. He does, yeah, he does show up at the end of G5. Yeah. So, um... <laughs> one. So, Blaze shows up because, um... For, for those who don't know, because she's not in that many Sonic games, uh... She's from another dimension! And she's a guardian of the Soul Emeralds, which are basically a lull in Chaos Emeralds. <laughs> Just her own version. And they warned her because hey. of a potential threat that's going to befall Sonic's world, or Sonic's dimension. And I like how Sonic mentions that she's seven months late. <laughs> because, to be honest, it was at their worst when Sonic got- Why were she not in forces? That's the question. I don't know, but also a part of me, I'm glad she wasn't there, because... It, it's weird, because Silver, for example, in forces, I'm always happy to see Silver the Hedgehog. Like, I think he's a great character. But he doesn't do anything in forces. All he does is get into an air boost battle with infinite and loses. Doesn't use a psychic what powers. Best, he says one of the best lines of the game, though. <laughs> okay, so he's there for. So he's like on the sidelines, like all the other Dragon Ball characters that aren't Goku or Vegeta. Yo, speaking of Silver, I fucking love him in this series. Me too. Me too. Yeah. He, we'll he's just a, later, he's just a happy child. <laughs> yes. That's this, this character now. I love it. Yeah. He, He's, he's been... And I also keep forgetting how young he is. <laughs> yeah, compared to everybody else, because he's not, um, he's not, he's more green than everybody else, because he's mostly alone and all that stuff. <laughs> wow, no! Blaze is 14, so... Oh, God. <laughs> <laughs> Does that mean we're doing pedophile? <laughs> oh, this is just like Son Amy. <laughs> oh, no. I, I don't know, you're even worse for Amy, because Amy's 12. Yeah, I keep forgetting that those are the canonical ages. Because I remember when I was younger, I'd read like the Sonic Heroes manual all the time, and it'd say like Sonic's 15 and Knox is 16 and Tails is like eight. And I then mean, you wonder why a six-year-old's hanging out with <laughs> Spio and Vector. <laughs> <laughs> why is Charmy a six-year-old hanging out with Vector, an 18-year-old? <laughs> Wait, That's actually, I think, I think in Knuckles Chaotix he was like 16 or something, but don't quote me on that. Yeah, didn't they say Big was like 30? Big <laughs> or something? Big or something? I think, he, I think he said he was 30 or something. I thought it was 30. Hang on. I'm rocking a wiki. Let's go to the news network. Okay. <laughs> I'm mad we don't get to talk about Big because he's in year two. And the first time he shows up, he's dead on arrival. <laughs> <laughs> Killed that man on arrival. <laughs> Which honestly isn't surprising to me because it's Big and I'm pretty sure he just let it happen. <laughs> oh, he's honestly. We saw the Sonic Twitter for the last few oh, years. Oh gosh, no big the, for the you. The news network says he's 18. He's 18. Oh, okay. <laughs> okay. Um. But yeah. Um. Uh, I'm always happy to see Blaze. I I love how. 
um, her character is. She's basically an anti-Sonic. Uh, I do like the details how how Sonic he's afraid of water, and they still remember that she's afraid of heights. So it's kind of like water, air, or water and air is like parallel to each other, I guess, in a way. And it kind of makes sense because she's a cat. And how she's more well-reserved, but she's still, like, as heroic as, heroic as Sonic. And she's also, in a way, Knuckles, too, because she's a guardian, too. I always think about it. That's kind of weird. <laughs> you're afraid of heights, but you're a cat. <laughs> you can land on your feet, you'll yeah. be fine. Oh, hell no. If Fall Dangerous doesn't exist in the Sonic universe... <laughs> Eh, hell no. And then with Sonic Hedgehogs can actually swim. <laughs> okay, well, this we play Yuji Naka for that, that one. That was just Sega's poor, that that was was <laughs> that, that was just Sega's poor uh, research. Yeah, hell yeah. Well. Yeah, but um, aside from that, uh, I guess all Blaze really does is... Uh, oh, they do like some neat combo attack with Blaze and, and, and uh, Tangle. <laughs> It reminded me of, um, actually, now that I think about it, it kind of reminded me of a Team Blast. Like how, uh... Honestly! Tangle, she, she ricochets Blaze and Sonic, and then Blaze, she, like, so winds Sonic up with and the fireball. No, Sonic's face when he lands in front of the <laughs> A-Block is, like, <laughs> one of the best reaction images. I think Shad <laughs> uses that reaction, but, like, it's, uh, the lens flare eyes. <laughs> oh, no, that's, uh... Is that the same one? I, I think know. it is. I, I don't have the, the page on me right now, but uh, you'll know. Okay. I'll, I'll put to my it. phone. Yeah. Hold on. <laughs> sure, I'll put it on the on the video, obviously. But I I love that pose. Because <laughs> <laughs> if that was from that, I I don't remember because I thought it was from uh, the metal Sonic stuff. Sonic has a lot of good faces in this. He uh, does. Everybody has a lot. Of there's good a faces lot of mean faces in. Here. Yeah. Oh, oh no! They know. Uh, I'm sick of I'm sick of Sonic using meme culture, having those uh, making those faces just to, oh, to make. Oh god! <laughs> Twitter that day was absolutely stupid, and I hated it. <laughs> that day on Twitter was terrible. <laughs> yeah, they really had a whole day just talk about him using meme faces. Yes, <laughs> you know you know exactly who I'm talking about, Chad. Remember oh. remember when the Sonic Twitter tweeted uh. Everybody tried to redraw this one art from Sonic Mania Adventures, and it got some people, uh... Upset. Pretty, pretty, pretty upset. Here, here you go. It, yep, yeah, that's, that's, that one. that's the one. <laughs> that's it, that's <laughs> it. You know that face Sonic does? It reminds me of a... It's a, basically a face I would make if I'm playing a shooter, and I literally snuck into the enemy's team, and they wouldn't know I would be there. It's basically like it's free real estate. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> I mean, to him, it pretty much is. <laughs> yeah. So what are these eggplants gonna do? Let's be honest. Just flail our arms at him. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, that one has a gun. Oh yeah. <sighs> that one does have a gun. I mean, Some of them have guns. Yeah. I mean, the ones with uh, the spears are arguably the most dangerous because in heroes, when you try to home and attack them, sometimes the the sword hitbox would hit you. Because the fucking hitbox on him is just active all the time. Yeah. Which is weird to say the least, because, like, it's stupid. It is stupid. It is stupid. <laughs> Those, yeah, the, the, the Lance freaking eight pods of heroes always make me nervous. I, I, like, I, 50 50. Yeah, I love heroes, but but those guys they, those guys make me sweat anytime I see them. I mean, the hammers, the hitbox on the hammer dudes are also always active, so it's like I'll try to attack them and then I'll get randomly hit. Literally, so like, when I see them and I'm not level 2 tails or level 2 flying type, I switch to the power type and I throw a fireball at them <laughs> from a distance. Honestly, what you should do. Yeah. Child me hated the hammer dudes. Yeah, yeah, dude. I hate the ones with helmets specifically because you can't hurt them until you knock the helmets off. Yeah. The waiting game. Oh, yeah. I see. I especially hated him before in uh, what's the last? The last level before uh, Final Egg Fortress. No, Mag Mystic Final Mansion. No. Uh, no. No Final Fortress. Is it Final Fortress? Yeah. Yeah, that's the last level yeah. before the Final. That area. That, that God, I, like I felt like I was forced to like fight him on most cases. You I were. You're supposed to, but like, I hated doing that because they were just so stupid. There, no, there. no, I really hate them now. Freaking uh, the the second Mook Rush for Team Dark because uh, they throw a ton of them at you. I hate them there. Uh, <laughs> Gotta Dude. love Heroes. Yeah, Heroes is a game that I will love, but it has its very low points. Oh, well. A lot very of low points. A lot of a lot of low points. 
you tried playing it recently. That jank comes back and hits you hard. Butter shoes, it anybody? Does. <laughs> <laughs> Randomly got hit by something I didn't see. Okay. Look, well, I recently and like I'm starting to like launch myself out of fucking loops and shit. Like, what's going on? Here? <laughs> pretty much. Pretty much. Which is why these games need a proper remake with polish. Final Four is just that guy hit by one of the lasers on the rail and then shot off the rail. <laughs> Dude, okay, this is... Uh, I, I don't know if you guys remember this one Twitter video. Somebody made, like, a remix of Team Chaotix screaming about the, the lasers in Final Fortress. <laughs> if I can oh find it, God. I'll probably put it into the description of this video. I think I pinned it somewhere. I think I did. But it was, it was, it was hilarious. Also, uh, grinding in that in that Sonic Heroes is always finicky. Like, it grinding bad. Yeah, you know grinding's pretty cool. <laughs> if that's if that's one thing I did hate, it was literally fucking Bullet Station and the other fucking rail place. Dude, I love I Rail those, Canyon. I love I hate that it was place. That absolute hell because grinding in that game is finicky as fuck. It is. It's really. Is. Mainly switch. It was, it was mainly switching them. It really just mainly switching rails was finicky as fuck. Yeah. Sometimes you shoot off to the stratosphere, and sometimes you get it. The stratus is just do it in the fly formation to you'll be able to save yourself. Yeah, that literally just fly formation. But Shadow the Hedgehog <laughs> did it properly. It actually mapped it to a different button. Yeah. <laughs> Somebody told one. Sega that there's more than just a B button. <laughs> <laughs> Man, SA2 could really use that. Could. Really good. Oh yeah, I also pinned that uh, that tweet in the bridge. I found it. I, I love that video so much. Um, here. <laughs> oh gosh, the egg albatross. Yeah. <laughs> so, uh, anything else about issue four before we move on? Let me look. Uh... Oh, actually, I lied. There is one thing. <laughs> I like after when uh, they defeat all of the badniks. Uh, Sonic's like, I need a breather. <laughs> he sits there for right. a battle. I'm good. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> uh, the ending of the issue. We kind of get teased. Oh yeah, we see uh, we see Eggman, right? Yeah. Yeah. So I'm like, oh snap! That's not Eggman. You're not me. That's Eggman, nigga. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I didn't really put those two together, but it could have might as well been because Blaze is there, right? Right. True. 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 Yeah. That, that, that is a possibility. That is true. But it never happened. Nope. I mean, I wouldn't be surprised if they did, if they ended up using him. Yeah. I think a common man is that they are actually not allowed to use him. Did it? I forget. I, I think it was at least they think for Archie. I don't know if it's still in effect now, but I think at least for Archie, they were just not allowed to use Eggman Nega. Mm. I thought they were just weren't supposed to use like. Cause I know this. I know IDW. They weren't supposed to. Use, they're not supposed to use Infinite until they say so, or right. uh, and like any of the Archie characters. Yeah, I don't know about Eggman Nega though. Cause I think one of the things is that they're not even allowed to refer to him by name. So interesting. I don't even think they're allowed to mention Infinite. Sega hates Sonic's friends. <laughs> Well, this is hitting Sonic's enemies. We're I, not allowed to have I don't, one know, I don't know the whole case with Andrew, because, like, as far as I know, they're not supposed to use them. I don't know if they can't mention them or not. They haven't mentioned them, but... They haven't mentioned them, so they haven't. Gonna, the only time, guess they the are only not time they used him as a pre-comic for Forces before the game came out, which was better yeah. than the actual game. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I won't go that far, but, you know, it, it showed the Master Emerald or... Silver coming back to say, hey, the world's in danger. We need you as a commander. As stupid as I was, but hey. Honestly. At least it won't be as stupid as getting called out and getting, getting spin dashed through a window. <laughs> <laughs> I'll never forget that. I have my comic in my house. Man actually. wanted him to, Mance wanted him dead. No, Antoine's the Twitter literally gets dragged to the hospital yes. where I hit on it. <laughs> I just picture the residents just seeing Sonic just speeding through town. And just seeing some like, psychotic hedgehog go, uh, 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 just getting dragged around. <laughs> and then he threw him like on, on, on like the metal beam on the bed too. Like, dang, bro. Yeah. <laughs> well, Sonic was back and he was just calling everybody yeah. out. 
It's like, hey, I think Rotor's a traitor. No, he's not. Okay. Uh, sorry about that. Sally's the traitor. Hey, hey, Sally's a traitor. Hey, your girlfriend's a traitor. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's Antoine. Antoine's the traitor. Gets dragged to the hospital. <laughs> You're the traitor. What? <laughs> oh, man. Alright, so, um, we're gonna move on to issue 5, where stuff gets interesting. So, the fate of Dr. Eggman. This is a, a two-parter. Um, his Batnik forces are still causing trouble, but without the Doctor's usual fanfare, what's Eggman, what's Eggman been doing all this time? And what will happen to Sonic when he finds out? And we get the introduction to the Chaotix. I'm sorry, Mighty Fans, you guys got cucked yet again. Well, they can oh, yeah. still use Mighty and Ravage to be used either. Either. again. <laughs> Mighty isn't allowed to be used either yet. <laughs> oh, yeah, oh, See, I love, this, I love that they actually got, like, used in the Archie comics, though, and I like Mighty in the Archie comics. Me too! He was so good. <laughs> I, just the Wild West with, like, what was it, Bunny's brother or something? Brother. Yeah, or uh, was it brother? Or it might cousin? have been, like, uncle? Or brother or cousin, one of those yeah. two. <laughs> and if it was all I just know I, I they were there because they were looking for Mighty's sister. Yeah. Because Mighty's sister got called by Eggman at some point. Yeah. Oh, also, quick question. Do you, any of you guys care about Ray? Ray? Yeah, the flying squirrel. Yeah. Yeah. He, I mean, I, I don't dislike him, but I can't say I... I don't dislike him because... Yeah. I don't really like him either because, like, he's not really used much. That's true. That's probably why I just like, don't care about him. Even like even in Archie, he wasn't even used much. Yeah, he was just kind of there. with Mighty. He was just he, he was he was literally just there, but like he's a version of right. Tails, but he was just there. Yeah, I think there was one moment I did like what he did was um he got uh, like he got on top of the Master Emerald and faked like he had a super. Oh, <laughs> <to scare laughs> off the I oh yeah, I, I completely about forgot that. about that. Oh my goodness. Yeah, that's a blast from the past. Yeah. And that's when you realize that people who don't, like, not just anybody can just walk up to the fucking Gimbal and just get some power. Yeah. And you have well, to be the like embodiment what? of chaos. When Third tried to do it, tried to uh, get a super form of the Master Emerald, Knuckles just decked him. So <laughs> that's why he was green, because he got caught halfway through. <laughs> get away from yes, my sir. Emerald! But, um, yeah, in this issue, the Chaotix are, are being detectives because in the actual games, they never get a chance to be detectives. Right. So, um... Yeah, we're Scourge. Ken didn't take Scourge. <laughs> you bet. <laughs> Wait, didn't he? No, I thought he did! I'm pretty <laughs> sure he took Scourge, too. Because... <laughs> I can dream, man. <laughs> Bro, I hate how they took Scourge, man, because literally, their arc, their Sonic Universe arc was top tier. For them to escape the and have their own version. Their own jail? Yeah, their own version of the Freedom Fighters, just for their arc to be over because of a reboot. That, uh, 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 I still yeah. like Scourge being in the zone jail. <laughs> that was like one of the best moments. Me too. That's where I got my SRB2 tag, for those uh, wondering. I love that guy. <sighs> but yeah, so uh, the Chaotix, they, they happened to, to find Eggman, and they brought Sonic uh, to him because they weren't sure what to do with him. Because, uh-oh, he pulled a Shadow the Hedgehog and has amnesia. Huh. Yeah, so did you guys think he was faking it, or did you think this was legitimate? It was legitimate. It looked legitimate, so I I believed it. Yeah, I thought he was faking at first, but a, again, it looked it did look legitimate enough, Mister Tinker, with how he didn't remember himself, and <laughs> there was these panels of them testing. It's like, hey, do you know what this is? <laughs> and it was like a picture of the Sonic logo. <laughs> I'm looking at the flashback panels for the Chaotix. They reference Zero. That feels weird. They they did. <laughs> Technically, it's not Zero because it's E106, but. The design is oh, just yeah, straight yeah, up zero. Yeah. 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 Interesting. Yeah. Um. I mean, it was. It was. I, I guess it was. I wouldn't say heartwarming, but it was interesting seeing Eggman just or Mr. Tinker just helping out this random town that took him in. 
and he's actually doing something good for once. <laughs> right. And um, I, I do like how the, the Chaotix are wrestling with how uh, Vector, he thinks he shouldn't have been punished because, you know, he doesn't remember all the evil deeds he did. Oh no, this really comes into aspects later. <laughs> yeah. And how SBO oh, poor said... Poor SBO. Yeah, how SBO said that uh, he was... That he's, he's still evil and the actions that he did do happen, so he should pay for his crimes and all that stuff. And Sonic being himself, because he wants to see good in everybody, he he um he thinks Eggman or Mr. Tinker will be all right. He was giving it the benefit of the doubt, pretty much. I uh, little did he know. Yeah, little did he know, because uh, we all we all know what happens eventually. <laughs> <laughs> yes. I I do I do love the panel where uh, Sonic's like I'm gonna head out now after um they help defend the village and he's like. I hope you come back and see Eggman Land once it's completed. I'm like, yo, did he actually? <laughs> yeah, that threw me off too. That's why I was like, oh, wait a minute. <laughs> like, yeah. he wouldn't just say that to him. <laughs> and, right? Yeah, and, and, and I love how this is all handled too, because surprise, surprise, I don't think the Chaotix are bad detectives. I don't think they haven't had enough chances to prove themselves, because for Sonic Heroes, um... They just, they knew it was Eggman, like, fiddling the Milan, and that's, like, the only chance they were detectives. And then, in this continuity, when they're trying to find Eggman, they literally got a tip saying, Hey, Eggman is here, you look into it, and it happened to be from, from Shadow and Rouge, or mostly Rouge. It happened to be from Rouge, yeah. Yeah. And I like how they're Shadow literally just eavesdro me. eavesdropping to everything, and literally the second he says Eggman, like, Shad's like, or Shadow's like, nope, I've had enough. <laughs> that guy's died. <laughs> <laughs> yep. <laughs> yep. <laughs> He's done. Yeah. I don't know. I think they got. I think they got a couple opportunities in the Archie comics to show it off. Yeah, they did. Show. They did. Um, I. Yeah. Uh, I don't remember them entirely, but I think it was like Amy's cousin it was like Robbo the Hedge or something. And they were like yeah. trying to hunt That's down Mighty. Cousin. Hey, yeah, I think those arc leading up to Mighty actually. They also been, got yeah. cooked. Yeah, they all see yeah. <laughs> A lot of people Rob, got uh, Rob got taken too. Yeah. Yeah. That's Apparently, he's owned by Kid. Yeah. Huh. Didn't know that. <laughs> Smashed an echidna. <laughs> so, but, uh, we read uh, Ken Pinder's comic, bro. Yeah, we are. We are just shows. <laughs> but, um... When are so we gonna we read it, man? It? <laughs> so we can make fun of it? It'll be the greatest thing ever. Yeah, <laughs> it would be. Probably gonna throw up from looking at the art, but hey. <laughs> <laughs> Why are Sonic's quills next to the floor? <laughs> <laughs> Why are they what so are these long? faces? <laughs> oh man, no, no. I think be... the only time, like, I think the only time I ever like Kindred art is if it was when he draws humans or some shit. Yeah, it, it shows that like his art is literally just for humans. <laughs> Honestly, you don't speak. Like, he can draw no, no, let's not forget fine. about the most fucking... forgotten Sonic characters, Nate Morgan. <laughs> Dude, I forgot about that. Dude. No, Morgan Freeman. <laughs> I'm Morgan Freeman. <laughs> You know, didn't uh, he die? <laughs> I don't remember. I don't, like, um, I'm I'm a big fan of Archie Sonic, but like the super super early comics, I don't know them as much as I would for the later ones. So I don't remember. I, I don't just remember, remember the early either. Adventure era because that was a time. I have the. I actually bought the Sonic Encyclopedia. Uh, I don't have it on me right now, but I do own it. But uh, it has like all of the character bios of everybody in the comics. It even has a world. I map. think I also have the encyclopedia actually. Yeah, I, I, I guess when we talk about uh, Archie Sonic eventually, I'll probably like uh, show that off. But um, yeah. uh, I have a lot of the early Archie comics. Yeah, I have I have a, I have a crazy amount of them. <laughs> <laughs> I was buying the Archive books when that was a thing because they were just releasing the old comics and like novels. Yeah, I didn't get a chance to get yeah, all I had of them. Yeah, a few of those too. And I, yeah. I think I lost one of them. And the one I lost was the one where fucking Sonic and Knuckles were fighting in, like, when they were roboticized. Oh, I can't Oh, I have yeah, because that's when Sonic got framed by uh, Fang. Yeah. yeah. And that. to this day, I fucking hate that issue at the end because of literally how Sally acts. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Sally and the rest of them. Because oh. it was so fucking stupid. Like, how are you going to frame him for something he has no control of? Like, you're blaming him for shit that he has, like, no control over. No control over. It's just, it's kind of like you this can clearly right see now. <laughs> like, you can clearly see the man's mind control. Yeah. Exactly. What? To do all this stuff. I'm pretty sure that if this man was roboticized and had free will, he wouldn't do any of this shit. 
He's exactly. doing the same shit he's always been doing. Oh, what? the reasoning she gave is that they thought he willingly roboticized himself. Nah. Uh, he'd be the last person to fucking do that. Exactly. They'd be screwed if he did do that. <laughs> Considering both his uncle and both of his parents were roboticized, why would Sonic ever want to do that? And Mutsky. Sure Oh yeah, his dog naked fuck. <laughs> yeah, also his dog. And then we turned this dog into a character with the second Stop! Recap. Stop! <laughs> Stop! <laughs> when I saw that, the first, I thought this is so weird. This is- I, I don't like this. Oh yeah? I, I don't like what I'm seeing. <laughs> like, why, why did y'all do this? <laughs> Cause Sonic's not allowed to have family. That's why Uncle Chuck is just everybody's uncle now. <laughs> I don't, I mean, I, honestly, I don't mind the whole Uncle Chuck thing. I don't, I don't either. I, I mean, he was basically an uncle to everybody anyway, so that was fine. Yeah. I, I, did, I don't anyway. mind that whole thing. Mm -hmm. uh, so, um, yeah. So Shadow's here, and so is Rouge. So it's a battle of morales. It's, uh... It's kind of like, maybe not exactly with um, Sonic being roboticized and what Chad mentioned earlier, but if you remember what you did in the past, if you don't remember what you did in the past, should you be penalized for it or not, basically, which is Sonic versus Shadow. So, yeah. What do you guys think about that issue? I always love me some Sonic versus Shadow action. <laughs> I like it. It was, I was really, I literally only tuned into it for the fight, really. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I love how the chaotics were like, Hey, yo, let's go back up Sonic, boy! And then he's throwing uh, like, over no, the no. mountain. <laughs> <laughs> yep. <laughs> They're already gone, like, mm. They're already gone. No. <laughs> no. Yeah, um, I don't... I, cause I, know I don't SBO, think they'd be much help in that fight anyway. Pretty much. I know SBO Honestly. was uh, a speed type in Heroes, but I don't think he has, like, super speed like Sonic and Shadow, so... I don't think he would caught up. I mean, he has his ninja powers. That's true. Behold, ninja power! <laughs> Yo, remember the Archie? Remember the Archie comics where uh, SBO had like an actual clan? Oh, dude! <laughs> I, oh yeah, I remember that with Monkey Con and all that, those guys. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> Goku. I I did some research. Like, wow, the four clans, and I realized like uh, the Iron Queen was like part of one of those clans. Yeah. <laughs> I really wish that got turned into a game. That would have been so cool. Honestly, Sonic Series needs more lore, just so we can have consistency. I'm tired of this nonsense. Yeah, yeah I agree. Uh, I like that uh, Sonic tripped over a freaking tree root during the fight. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I do like how, um, well, maybe guilt trip's not the exact same word, but uh, how basically Sonic says, like, how can we redeem you when you try to get rid of uh, the planet and stuff like that? So Shadow right. had some remorse in him. <laughs> I like, I, I do like once uh, their fight's over and Shadow just comes back and, and the Keogh's like, Yo, we gotta stop Shadow! Alright guys, we can do this, we can do this, we can do this! <laughs> and he's like right in front of them, they're like, no, we can't do this! <laughs> and then he just teleports. But you cannot do this. You cannot do this. Um, I also like how he throws a table. He's like, show me Eggman line. <laughs> I, no. see I see him on the horizon. We're prepared for him this time. <laughs> if he can't do it, he's gonna get the solid wall. And Chaos controls until now. <laughs> <laughs> oh man. Uh, but I do like it's it's interesting though because there's hints that Eggman's getting his memory back, but at the same time he's still his Mr. Tinker because Eggman lands in amusement park. Which is right. something he's done in the past, but it's literally for ch children, and it's very harmless. But the all of the um, rides are based off of Badniks, too. Badnik. Yeah, so it's like, eh, kind of sketchy, but kind of not. Well, yeah. Good, good, good issue. i like me to see some Team Dark. <laughs> but we're missing a member, and he doesn't show up until year two. <laughs> yeah, he does not. And he is still just as good. <laughs> yep, he still is. <laughs> I mean, it, it is very easy to make Omega enjoyable. <laughs> yeah, you, you'd be, you have to be talented to make Omega not enjoyable, to be quite honest. Exactly. Right. Oh, wait, Forces did that. And anyway. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, you're he didn't right. really show up much in Forces. So he like, didn't show up until the end of the game. <laughs> he showed up, shot two mini lasers, and then he's like, well, my job here is done. 
Then he joined the others. <laughs> like, I can't give him black for that because the people's champion. <laughs> <laughs> I can't give him black for that because it's like, you didn't show up at it. You, you, they basically had you offline for like most of it. That's fair. But, and then episode Shadow, he's just getting fucked up by Infinity. <laughs> 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 yep. I, I, I was enjoying the whole thing that was going on there. Yeah, where he's like going ham on the intercom with Shadow Shadow. I was like, what's this guy on? <laughs> okay, well, and this what, is where we get bro? teased. <laughs> yep. Okay, I'm like at the end of the issue. This is where we get teased because Mr. Tinker, we know Mr. Tinker's Eggman, but then we actually see Eggman in like his lab, but yep. it's not Eggman. But, but what's going on? So, I, I still had no idea what was going on there. Nobody knows. Nobody knew. At first, I actually thought this was a callback to the Archie comics. Oh, you mean where he dies, old robotic died, and he made a new Yeah, where, like, Eggman isn't really Eggman, but he has, like, <laughs> robotic body types, and he can just switch up whatever he feels like. That was such a weird like way it. to get Robotnik into Eggman's design. It was, it really I didn't was. like that at all. <laughs> it was really, like, it was, it was, it was quite disturbing, like, when they were talking about how, I, th I think, I think this is what happened. I think Sonic ended up killing his own Robotnik from his timeline or dimension. Yes, and then I think the happened. Eggman that we have now was from a different dimension that killed the Sonic and Freedom Fighters from his own line. Yeah, and it's basically the, uh, the it's basically a game <laughs> three. Yeah, mm -hmm. yeah, it was a dark one, and that, and they wouldn't. What was it? I remember because they mentioned it like later, later, because he act, like Sonic acts like, why don't y'all just get rid of him? Because he's not our, like he's not their Eggman or yeah. their Robotnik or whatever. Right. And he was like, well. Each one of these zones like need one, they need at one least Sonic one. Sonic and one Eggman. It's and since like his, then since like his Freedom Riders are gone and whatnot, yeah, he's just gonna take place here. We can't really get rid of him because it's not. Yeah, that just upset the balance of things there. Yeah. It was really, it was really it's, disturbing to see all the. Don't upset Sonic forms. the Zone Cop. <laughs> <laughs> zone Cop. <laughs> Everybody just has a Z in their name. Exactly, uh, all of them have a Z in their name for some reason. Um, I'm sorry, Zed. <laughs> I see. <laughs> oh god. <laughs> oh man. So uh issue number seven. I love this issue in particular. So uh secrets revealed after the dramatic events of the last two issues and a secret of Dr. Eggman, Sonic races off to shut down the organized badnik badniks at the source. Unfortunately, there's more at play that Sonic has realized, and more powerful players. Such as more heroes references, because the first panel is the freaking ship from Egg Fleet. Egg Fleet, yeah. And I was like, I'm I'm all for it. My, my hero's boner is on, and I am here for the entire ride. <laughs> There's like a whole lot of references in the start. Tails yeah. is wearing the goggles, which makes me think of the OVA. Yeah. Like, the Miles Electric is here. It's like, wow. Wow, wow. Uh, Ian Flynn's just not referencing classic Sonic and nothing but that. He's referencing everything, so everybody wins. Huh. Everything. Everybody wins. Who would have thunk? <laughs> <laughs> but um again I think uh what's his name again uh, Adam Brace Thomas he did uh the pencils for this one I believe too and uh I love the artwork for this one in particular and um so basically Sonic he has to go down to that fleet download uh data and figure out who's who's ordering around all these badniks but look and behold he happens to land on the right battleship because Literally, Eggman's in his face, and that that gave me that, that gave me is creepy. <laughs> I love it. I love how creepy it is. It, it, gave, it gave me the spooks, and then literally, Sonic just calls him out for anyone. Hey, you're a fake, and he's like, "What?" And then Honestly. here is the uh, the table turner. The, the reveal. Yeah, I was 100% not expecting this, and I popped off so Neither hard I. when I saw it. I was like, I was like, huh, that's pretty neat. I'm glad they referenced yeah, this. Yeah, I'm like, I am really happy with the direction this is all going because, yeah. um, now get rid of it. <laughs> <laughs> I, I don't know if you guys agree with me on this, but I, I've been getting sick of Metal Sonic, uh, lately because in the games he's just oh, me me metallic doppelganger. He doesn't talk. He's just a robot copy of Sonic, and like, hey, let's use him in Sonic uh, Sonic 4. Hey, let's use him in Generations. Hey, let's use him in Sonic Boom, and not change him at all. Hey, let's use him in Forces, even though that's not really him. And it's like, Metal Sonic, Metal Sonic, Metal Sonic. And I'm like, I just don't care anymore. But Neo's on a whole different level, though. 
That's because Neo is only whole appeared other... once. That That's because Neo is a whole other personality. Yeah, yeah, he has a personality. Yeah, he has a personality. <laughs> That's like why I don't like playing as Metal Sonic and Team Sonic Racing because the dude literally never talks, <laughs> for better or for worse. Because I know some people don't like it when. <laughs> or Sonic the or here's the Olympic Games robot noise. <laughs> yeah, that too. Even though I like the robot noise. <laughs> yeah, I mean his robot noises are cool. But I love, I love how they kept his uh, bio data copy ability, and that they use that to disguise him as Eggman, like the in Heroes. That was so sick. Yeah, that was a good reference. <laughs> I'm actually surprised that he made it away, so he doesn't just like turn on everybody, and he was actually just filling in for Eggman yeah. while he's gone. Yeah, I like, I like the explanation how um, uh, Eggman reworked him, so he's no longer rebellious. And again, this is Ian Flynn's way to save bad writing. How um, how the actual Metal Sonic never showed up in Forces, but his his reasoning for him not being in Forces was because Eggman was working on Neo, the Neo version, and he showed up to the party too late when Infinite got a uh, Control Alt deleted from the plot, <laughs> the fight was over. <laughs> yep. Yeah. Like the cool, cool, cool dude. And uh, I do like the fight that goes on in that comic. I thought all the panels were done super, super well. So we'll good. just keep Metal Sonic as Metal Overlord. Yeah. And, um... Yeah, Metal but Sonic was also... Or Neo was pretty smart here, too, because basically, Sonic... One Sonic minute, hits him and he copies his bio data. Yeah, but he basically <laughs> copies his bio data, and then... Sonic never, doesn't learn anything about his plan. All he knows is that, oh, there actually is somebody controlling these robots, but we have no idea what they're trying to do. And Neo's like, oh, my master's alive. I will literally go find him. So... It's a race against the clock. I still There's love one thing I love about games. this issue is the art. The art? <laughs> the art. Oh, the I art, yeah, the, the art. art, yeah, yeah. I don't brush my mixes with really good pencils. They are very anime inspired. I love it. Yeah, I love them. I love it. They're so good. Like, um, not that the others are bad. It's just I'm used to them. Because uh, Tracy Yardley, he's obviously been around Tracy for a Tracy Yardley, time. Evan Stanley, when he does. Yeah. Their, art, their art's amazing too, but it's just... Yeah, I'm used to it. <laughs> and then, and then, if there's something completely drastic again, it's epic too. It's like yes. Yep. And um, again, Sonic's personality in this in this issue is just perfect. Like, not only is he like talking smack too, like he he knows when to dip or when to fight. And his tactical retreat was super smart too. How right. he managed to get all of the cannons destroyed before. He, he got sent off the ship, because eventually, at some point, he would have had to get get off that ship. Either by his own terms or by Metal's terms, which happened to be Metal's terms, but... Uh, I like that. So, Tails uh, swoops in and saves him, and they're like, Yo, fire at him! And then all the cannons don't work. <laughs> Yo, I forgot he did this. There's like a panel where he steals one of the Aegon's lances and starts toying it around. <laughs> <laughs> That's awesome. Yeah. All right. I remember Metal backhanded his ass. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, and <laughs> after that, he immediately gets backhanded. <laughs> Neo's just so cool. I just, it gives me, um, a Mecha Sonic SMBZ flashbacks. Uh, that that version of Metal Sonic is, is what, I, what I like. I don't like the bland, boring, non talking Metal Sonic, but. Bro, Neo also needs to show up in more games. I'd be fine with that. Yeah, I would be fine with that too. Give him back. Bring him back! No, wait! Come back! <laughs> I'll take him as a final boss. Hell, I'll take his final boss again, please. <laughs> yeah, me too. Please, just not another color boss. transformation sequence? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I'll take that too. Uh, Except make it longer. Yeah. Make it longer. Oh, gosh. Yeah. Uh, issue seven's again, probably one of my favorites. One of my favorites. It's really good. Okay, so... Moving on to issue number eight, it's everybody's favorite time traveling hedgehog. So we get Silver the Hedgehog and also another brand new character. Hush, you hear that? It sounds like Sonic's racing off to another adventure and he's not alone. But who is this guardian angel? Why does everybody talk about her in a whisper? Ha! I get it. <laughs> <laughs> I approve. Joke fucking sucks. No, it's fantastic. You don't appreciate the 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 connoisseur of of the pun made in that.
No, right. it's quiet. <laughs> I Again, I think the door is over in the comics. His personality is just amazing. Yep, like 100%. This is how I would want Silver to be in the games for free. Uh, he's starting to get there. Team Sonic Racing got this pretty close. Yeah, he's it, getting it, 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 it get, it, They get pretty close. I just don't like how they handle Shadow in that game, but whatever. I mean, Team Sonic, Sonic and Shadow and Team Sonic Racing is just having a dick management contest. Yeah. I'm better than you. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so uh, Sonic is going into another base to, to find more info about Neo, because if Neo is working as Eggman, that means Eggman had some sort of backup plan in the off chance he didn't win or something. So, uh, I mean, I, f I feel like Sonic and Silver together, they would be fine, but... Uh, there was a lot of badniks in said base, so they had some secret character in the shadows who were uh, secretly taking out enemies for them. So, uh, what do you guys think of said new character? I like Whisper. She cute. I like her. <laughs> I like her. I like. Uh, yeah, I like the whole wisp. I like the whole little relationship she has with the wisp. Yeah, even though yeah. I despise the wisp with a passion, I agree too. I, See, I didn't mind it too much. It, I feel like if they keep them like this, where they just are part of the Wispons, it's fine. Yeah. Just don't I'm, bring them I anywhere near Sonic. <laughs> Wispons are fine. Just keep them away from Wispons Sonic. Wispons, I'm okay with. Just keep them away from fucking Sonic. Yes, please. Exactly. Just keep them away from please. Sonic. Like, he doesn't need the whole color power shit. No, he does not. He is fine the way he is. Especially the fucking boost. <laughs> <laughs> Oh man, I just get PTSD anytime they use uh, Wisp as uh, boost fodder for for Sonic, but whatever. That's just minor detail. But yeah, Whisper Whisper is pretty pretty cool. I like how how uh, naive Silver is. He's like Whisper. Yeah, you're Whisper. But what's your name? And then Sonic's like, That's her name. <laughs> no, oh. geez, that's her name. <laughs> oh yeah. What? Um, but I think there's a one panel. Um, it was a reference to a Sonic Adventure boss from a, um, from Gamma Story. I think it was this issue. I don't have it open right now, but uh... yeah, I just got to that panel. It's uh, freaking uh, the last one before the final boss. I don't remember the one that has like a that one that's like made out of Dreamcast textures. Yes, I love <laughs> that. I love that reference. I'm like, yo, it's kind of sick. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Um. Whisper, like when she saw Eggman's logo or whatever, she was ready to kill that, kill that screen. Like, geez, Louise. <laughs> she hates that I don't, man. I don't blame her because we learn about that past later. Yeah, we do. We do learn about it much, much later. Gotta love year two. Mm-hmm. Um, that's how she was ready to kill that man. Yeah, I do like how. Um, again, they're adding more layers to Sonic Forces, even though this never happened in the game. How. Even though Sonic, you know, was was kidnapped and tortured for six months, there was some vigilante who was helping them out, but she would never team up with them. And that was Whisper, so that's pretty cool. And then she teams up with them. <laughs> yeah, and then she teams up with them. You, you see, nobody can resist the, 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 the blue blur, the big blue, you see? He just well, because she's going them. kind of through the same art that Blaze did in Sonic Rush. She's learning to trust people. <laughs> yeah. And that's the whole Tangle and that's actually the whole Tangle and Whisper then. Yep. Yeah, that's basically all of the Tangle and Whisper miniseries is learning to trust people. Oh, okay. Interesting. Or at least getting her to trust people. Yeah. Yeah. Um Aside from that though, uh, I think this is when they figure out Neo's ultimate plan, because um, I didn't mention this earlier, but in issue three, uh they, they mention how Knuckles... They, they didn't know where Knuckles was post... Or the enemy didn't know where Knuckles was post forces. But they know that he's, like, not an Angel Island, so... What what are they gonna do if, uh... If Knuckles is on an Angel Island, of course they'll go for the Master Emerald, so... That's I just love the cut here. It's like, they find out what's going on in the planet computer, and then we immediately got the Knuckles freaking out over the Master Emerald. Yeah, <laughs> I do like that. <laughs> You know, it, it's nice having Knuckles have his main purpose back, you know? Him with the Master Emerald being the Guardian. <laughs> something Sega manages to ignore since, I think, Rivals. Uh, it, I think Rivals is the last time it is actually mentioned. Yes, I think it is. 
Oh, you may. No more master of recording. Oh, you may. <laughs> no, Knuckles just keeps it in his pocket at all times now. <laughs> <laughs> You're the one who told me the Master Emerald neutralizes the Chaos Emeralds. Oh, Rose, you're right! Let me just pull it out of my anus real quick. Yeah, it's right here. <laughs> <laughs> Got you, homie. <laughs> um, aside from that, um, I guess nothing much happens in Issue 8. Just more chemistry between... It's basically Sonic and the awkward characters together. Right. Yeah. So, issue number nine, the, the quote-unquote finale of this arc in general, and a three-parter, the battle for Angel Island. One of the greatest threats Sonic has ever faced descends upon Angel Island, home of the mysti mystical Master Emerald that Sega tends to forget about. Seeking to take the Emerald's power and control the world, can Sonic and friends stop the attack on the island, or is it already too late? Find out next time on Sonic X! Uh, I like it. <laughs> Everyone is here. Everyone. This year. Ex except for Omega. But, uh, we will right. show up eventually. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just kidding. Omega doesn't matter. Yeah. So, uh, here's where Amy takes more of her, her leadership role. Because, again, I don't see Knuckles being a leader. Especially when the uh, Master Emerald's at stake. I don't see him being rational. Or thinking rationally. So, uh... Um, Rash he thinks? <laughs> right, he thinks? So, um, the plan that Amy has for, uh, securing the Master Emerald, because Neo obviously beat them, beat them there, um, is they would split up into three teams. Um, team A and B, or Team 1 and 2, they would go neutralize all the robots all over the island, and the Team 3, they would confront Neo immediately, and obviously it'd be Sonic and Knuckles going after Neo themselves. And, um, what, what I popped off a lot about was, uh, how Blaze mentioned she had the Soul Emeralds on her. I know she mentioned it earlier, but we didn't see them. So, the fact that we got Burning Blaze so earlier on, I was like, yes, let's go! <laughs> I love Super Forms. Let's go. Surprised we got a Super Form so early. Yeah. I uh, know. It was, it was, we got two, actually, stupid early. But we'll get to that in a bit, though. So, yeah, I, I, do, I do like how, you know, everybody's being useful here. And they're like, yo, Shadow, join Team A. It's like, oh, we're, Shadow's not here. I wonder where he'll be. Hmm. <laughs> Think he's gonna listen? Nah. <laughs> that, that man will not listen. Archie Shadow would have listened. Maybe. Actually, yeah. Yeah. Um, not I, that I hate this characterization here, but like, god damn. Yeah. Um, I was thinking, though, um... Correct me if I'm wrong, do they ever mention G.U.N. after this issue? Like, later on, during year two? No. No? I thought they might have did it when we see Team Dark again, but I cannot actually remember, and I'm okay. going to assume no. Okay, so maybe I'll, I'll save that convo, or conversation for another time, but, um... Uh, I don't yeah. think G.U.N. exists in uh, yeah, this they world. They probably don't. There have been no humans whatsoever beside them, so... Yeah, but what do you guys think of uh, of uh, part one? Um, is that what you expected their plan to be? Because, or you thought they would handle it a different way? I honestly was just along for the ride. I wasn't that expecting them to just straight up storm and take Angel Island. So that's kind of neat. Yeah. Um, if only since we got to see Angel Island again. <laughs> I actually do like how they didn't go for the Chaos Emeralds here. Because it would have been... Kind of pointless because the Master Armor kind of wins say. that matchup. Zero 100 right. matchup. <laughs> so, uh. Um, you do not win this matchup. No, you do not. It's, uh, it's, it's unwinnable. And, um, I do like. I, I was curious about this when he did bring up the Soul Emeralds. How Tails was like, why even bother bringing the Soul Emeralds? Because the Master Emerald will neutralize it, but it doesn't. So, that was cool. Dimension. Yeah. <laughs> And then Tails is still like, yeah, Blaze, don't go over there, because if he copies you, then we're, we're, we're pretty much dead. <laughs> which which kind of made sense. It's uh, it's hard to fight a, a Mega Man Sonic ro robot doppelganger who has the Master Emerald on his side. Right. I, oh, I, I freaked out a lot when, um, when everybody decided to split up and get on their mission, how Sonic and Knuckles had their extreme gear. 
I love Sonic Riders so much. Anytime I see Extreme Gear, I just, yeah. I just, I just fanboy. I love them so much. I wish hoverboards were real. <laughs> give us a new Riders game. Yes, <laughs> it's been ten years. Forget about Free Riders. Just give us a controller. <laughs> okay, well maybe not forget about Free Riders. Just actually make Free Riders, but with a controller. Uh, I mean, to be honest, Free Riders really wasn't bad. It wasn't bad. It's just, it's just, it was compared just a compared to the first exclusive. Two, yeah. It was just a Connect exclusive. Yeah, compared to the first two, though, it's not as exhilarating, which is why even if you gave Free Riders a controller, I wouldn't be all for it. But yeah, I like see. some of the mechanics. Like I like the the uh, the dual stand system. Yeah, I mean, that's all right. It's funny seeing YouTubers try to play that game with webcam. <laughs> <laughs> it's funny watching them suffer. And fail at it, yes, because those controls are terrible. Exactly. Connect is bad. Yeah. So I do uh, like the callback at the end where uh, when Neo had to go super at the last panel, he just says, "Show me what you're made of." Yeah, I do love that. Uh, I, uh, it re when on um, Sonic and Knuckles they go confront Neo, it reminded me of um, in Archie Sonic. Uh, I forget who was exactly there. I think it was Knuckles' dad and Scourge, and was there somebody else? I don't remember, but it reminded me of that exact, like, area where when Scourge basically turns green and takes the Master Emerald's power. It's the setting of it. Oh, I know what you're talking about. Yeah. Yeah. I think it was just Knuckles' is dead and, and Scourge. Oh, okay, I guess. Yeah, that sounds about right. I think it I was think just Rouge dude. was also there. Like, because, yeah, I think yeah, Rouge, was, there. Rouge was there, too. That was, like, her yeah. little yeah. appearance. I think. Was that her I think that was her first appearance. Yeah. Was that our first appearance? I feel like it. Maybe. <laughs> that Maybe. one feels so late, because Shadow was there years in advance at that point. He was. I don't, I don't know. Um, Who knows? I do love Neo's super form. I mean, it's just literally like us. Uh, Him Mega but Sonic gold. In uh, Sonic 3, <laughs> Knuckles. But right. I, I loved it. So basically, when I saw him go super, I'm like, yeah, these guys are about to eat some dirt. <laughs> I love Are you reference to, uh, referencing to the Archie comics when uh, Sonic and Knuckles go off the altar? It makes me think about that one cutscene in Adventure 2. Oh yeah, <laughs> oh yeah, it does. That probably could have been a reference. I do, I did love that from Adventure 2, because like Sonic and Knuckles, they don't really are together that much in Adventure 2. So yeah, I know. Like We're that. together since what? <laughs> <laughs> we hate each other. <laughs> oh no, they hate oh. each other, but they bros. Yeah, they are bros. Or oh, as uh, Sonic Advance 3 says, fighting buddies. I mean, that, oh, is, who wouldn't? that is accurate. <laughs> that is accurate. Yeah. So it's just Dragon Ball. <laughs> um, on their way to the Angel Island, it, it was funny how they are all playing like cards and stuff. <laughs> and there was, and then, and uh, who was it? Oh yeah, Tango Steel Silver's cards. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Oh man, your hands are worse than mine. <laughs> <laughs> Hey Knuckles, you wanna play some blackjack? No, screw you. My emeralds in danger. Oh, okay. <laughs> I mean, we're not even there yet. You can at least lighten up. No. <laughs> oh man. Uh. All right. Uh, I think we'll move on to issue ten because uh, all the issues just feel just jumbled up. So part two is basically when the fight continues or it starts with Neo. Versus Sonic and Knuckles, and I mean the others are doing pretty well. Um, I like how what's her name Tangle. I like how she uses her tail to like redirect the shots of the cannons into uh, the other fleet members. And yeah, uh, yeah, everybody just, just throwing working hands. together. Yo, I got PTSD when I saw the Rouge bombs because she only does that at Sonic 06. <laughs> <laughs> Honestly, <laughs> they hurt you that badly. Uh, man. Uh, wait, was she only playable in Kingdom Valley? No, 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 wait, no, that's not true. I think Lost, what was it, Lost Jungle? What was that other stuff? I mean, technically, all the player characters, uh, all the partner characters are playable in the DLC. All right, the DLC. Technically. Yeah. Technically. Yeah, so, uh, Burning Blaze, I mean, uh, I like how she has inner monologues, so just tells the reader. So basically, those guys can't hurt her, but all they would do is slow her down. And for stupor forms, there's always a time limit. Um, this is what happens, we run on rings. Exactly. 
I mean, uh, it is always explaining game mechanics anyway. Yeah, it's like anime. <laughs> <laughs> or, the, or the characters talking to themselves anyway. But the mouth is open, that's my chance. <laughs> Literally just, if I get hit, I'm going to get knocked back. Yeah. So, um... Yeah, Knuckles and Sonic, they're getting, they're getting bodied. I like how uh, when Knuckles gets hit into um, into the pillar, <laughs> like his tail, like the tip of it's on fire. <laughs> <A> fire? <laughs> <laughs> that was just funny. Oh, man. Okay, so uh, Bernie Blaze runs out. Then we cut to Mr. Tinker. <laughs> oh, yeah, Mr. Tinker. He gets uh, he gets kidnapped. He gets but... uh, kidnapped by Rough and Tumble. Yeah, I'm not surprised he broke out of prison. <laughs> I'm not surprised at all. Because uh, in issue three, I mean, that was gonna happen eventually. Yeah. Yeah. Prison break arc. Prison break arc. So they they kidnap Mr. Tinker. So we, are, we already know what's gonna happen with with that. Because there's no way they would have kept Eggman. Um, and then they the... show other guy. Other guy, which we will probably talk about the next time. Whenever the, the year two arc is over, we'll talk about him more there. They don't go into it much till like now. That's true. Go like yeah. later, later. Because now him kidnapping what's his face yeah mr tinker um i do again uh tales just the comic books make me like tales a lot more because um i love the plan tales does very rash he, he literally kamikazes like all of eggman's fleets <laughs> into, into eggman's rv or into neo metal sonic himself yeah <laughs> Uh, Tails, why can't you be awesome in the games like that anymore? Uh, but, uh, yeah, it's looking bleak for, for Sonic and Knuckles, but... Where's Shadow? He neutralizes, um, Neo's super form. With a Chaos Spear! Where it literally comes out of nowhere and just impales him. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I like how Sonic was annoyed when that happened. He's like, man, he stole the spotlight from me. <laughs> Talking about how Knuckles got bitch slapped too. <laughs> yeah, he did. Beaten up. <laughs> oh man. Yeah, it's just this art or this issue in particular is just a lot of fighting, <laughs> and everybody's like, um, or what was it? What happened? Uh, after Neo, he gets out of his super form. Uh, he's like, you know what? Screw this. <laughs> or, or no, no, no. shadows bio Yeah, data. right. He needed so. shadows bio data because Shadow just kept pummeling him afterwards. He's like, yes, hit me more, hit me. <laughs> <laughs> and yeah, he got his. Uh... It's like we get the start of the weird transformation because he gets the Metal Overlord face. Yeah, like... yeah. You know what? <laughs> Honestly, I didn't see the Metal Overlord thing happening. Like I should have seen it coming, but I didn't because I thought the super form would have been like enough. You think it would have been enough? I just didn't expect it in this way, because they take it in a weird direction. Yeah. Uh, then, um... I think he's called Madness Over Overlord in, uh... The issues, right? Yeah, I think so. Yeah, I think yeah. so. And he's a big, giant Megazord! And, and, he's, and he absorbed the Master Emerald, so Angel Island is also falling now. Yep, Angel Island is falling. I do like how Blaze thinks that it was her fault that uh, the island <laughs> was falling. Oh yeah, she knows what's going on. Yeah. Yeah, but she's always supposed to blame on herself. Yeah, I, I like how um, I I do like how Burn and Blaze was handled. Like she's super crazy powerful, but she's super mindful in how she fights. She's like, man, I don't wanna, I don't wanna incinerate everybody, and um. I mean, Super Sonic when he fights from what from what I've seen from all the continuities, he's he's very noble. He's not super cocky, but like he won't be afraid to go there. in. It, it, it ties back to uh, Super Saiyan Goku for the first time when he's fighting Frieza. Yeah, yeah I guess that's the best uh, parallel to that or analogy. Yeah, super Super Sonic. Then this is where he just actually gets serious. Yeah. <laughs> Except so, that one time it unleashed. <laughs> oh yeah, right. So, uh... Could have killed that man right then and there. <laughs> <Get it off. laughs> if you just would have killed him right there, yep. then we could have the credit. Pretty much. So, uh, moving on to the, the last issue. I know this is a lot of video. Um, the last issue, 11 for this arc anyway. It's uh, the finale. So, basically, um, all the others are done taking on Eggman's fleet and all that stuff. So... 
everybody's diverting their attention to Metal Overlord, Lord, and they kind of have to because, you know, <laughs> he took the Master Emerald, he'll kill you all if you don't take care of him now. Exactly, correct. Yeah, so uh, what do you guys think about this arc in particular? Or this uh, issue? This one was pretty interesting. Yeah. Uh, I, I like the plan that they had. It was straightforward and and to the point. Basically, rip rip the the, the master emerald off of his nipple. <laughs> Work. <laughs> uh, it's, it's just funny to me how literally everybody has to distract him, and then during that entire time, you just see Knuckles just spamming his punches onto the I'm like, ah! <laughs> it reminds me of, um, I don't know if you guys remember uh, the Metarex saga from Season 3 of Sonic X. Um, they're fighting, I remember that. yeah, they're fighting one of the Metarex, I think it was like a golden one, and like the super weird planet. Like, he's super strong to like, carry these super huge pillars that would like, murder a, a man, and like Sonic and Knuckles, they can't damage him at all, but that reminded me of Knuckles, he's like, grabbed the dude's leg and he's like, just punching, like, he's literally mashing. Like, ah! he's not doing anything. <laughs> That's what that reminded me of. But, uh, but yeah. Um, so it's cool to see everybody team up. Again, I love how Tails kamikaze Yet again. <laughs> Yet again. <laughs> uh, Vector's were the whole time, man. I hope we're getting hazard pay for Yeah, this. exactly. <laughs> I love Vector. He needs to show off a lot more. Man. And I do like uh, the monologue Amy has where she's saying is like like wow Tails, that was kinda that was kinda ballsy. And she's like, Yeah, he was he was pretty much raised by Sonic and it's it's true. Sonic would do something that risky. <laughs> Just to save everybody. Honestly. And uh Yeah, so oh, yeah. I fucking love Knuckles' face when he got the emerald. Oh, yeah. <laughs> 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 yeah. He's like, yay, I'm happy again. He just flies away happily. <laughs> he's, he flies he's away basically, happily. He's basically a child when, when you leave the candy store, and the parent literally spoiled him with all the candy that he wanted. wanted. Even the panel before that, when he pops it out, that face is also good. <laughs> <laughs> Knuckles has good faces in general. I didn't mention the one last issue where uh, he pushed Sonic and Shadow out of the way. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, oh yeah, oh yeah, I know exactly what you're talking about. It's like, oh, yeah. get me to the Master Emerald! <laughs> yeah, he, he's, he's got like, nothing but like, his pupils. No yeah. irises. <laughs> uh, yeah, so uh, the end of saving the day, uh, Metal reverts back to his original form. Why they don't destroy him right then and there? I don't know. Because <laughs> bro, Cause Sonic is being a little too forgiving. They think he can change, bro. Oh yeah, exactly. that's right. That's right. The power of friendship and trust. You can change. Eggman's not here anymore. Oh, I guess that's probably why they let him, let him go. <laughs> that yeah, that's why. That was literally the whole. That was just slaps his hand and just runs off. That's how they get to the sunset. Yeah, but because. <laughs> Holy fuck you, nigga. <laughs> yeah, because Omega Omega's a good guy now, and Gamma changed at some point. Too bad a boy dead. Before committing suicide. <laughs> yeah. Um. Uh, there was like a B plot that we uh, we were getting more into why Mr. Tinker got captured, and that was because of uh, Doctor Starling. Yeah, Doctor Starling. I I don't know my opinion on that guy. It's weird. Uh, I think he's interesting. They just didn't cap on him enough because by the time we really actually start learning about him, he just gets thrown off and yeah, then forgotten. Pretty much. Pretty much. <laughs> Which is. I mean, he's getting his own little side comic, too. I did not know That'd that. That'd be interesting to learn about. Because yeah. <laughs> we won't be seeing him in the main comic anymore. They're doing, like, a whole little villain um, side thing. Or cool. something something called villains or some shit. Cool, cool, cool. We need more villains, honestly. Yeah, we do. Ones, ones that aren't the Deadly Six. <laughs> Bring back the Egg Legion! Yes, please! <laughs> Those guys were awesome! Put them in a video game, please. Please, uh, sorry, please. Sorry, sir, you're going to have to uh, contact Ken Pinders. <laughs> Can we just fight him? Can we arm wrestle him? <laughs> Can we Sonic Ditto him in Ultimate? <laughs> Yo, shit, <shite>, tag you in. <laughs> ah. Man. 
yeah, any... That's what we can do about that. <laughs> yeah, so, uh, I guess at the end, the, the cliffhanger is they're basically trying to brainwash or trying to get Eggman to remember his true form, and they ask him, Dr. Eggman, do you remember yourself? And all that jazz. So. Nah, not really. No. <laughs> yeah. I think I'm gonna go Tinker. Tinker. So, um... Yeah, that's basically year one and the the arc or the first arc in general. So, final thoughts on um, the comics up to this point so far, guys? The first year was good. It really tied me in. I feel like we really didn't get to take off until after this arc, but yep, I agree. Right. Shit didn't really go anywhere till like this arc. <laughs> that's true. Yeah. Uh, before it was literally just <laughs> robot this what that right you robot this team up here there bye yeah that's uh that's something that's pretty important too when you start off a new series you need you need something that will captivate everybody enough so that they'll keep reading but um and i, I don't know i feel like uh idw sonic would kind of suffer from that because it's just a monthly release which, which I've always been used to, but I've been spoiled because I've been reading My Hero manga, and we basically get that every week, or every two weeks. So, I'm used to plot going a lot faster, if that makes any sense. Right. Um, which is why I originally wasn't all that captivated to IDW Sonic, and then once like I was hearing about more stuff, I'm like, okay, yeah, now I'll get invested in it. You're right. Yeah, and also... <laughs> I'm used to the whole monthly thing, so... Yeah. Um, yeah. I think another pro for IDW Sonic in particular, which was very hard for me for uh, Archie Sonic, was because I've been a fan for that for years, and I know you guys have been too. It's... Reboots, reboots aside, it's hard to get a new person into Archie Sonic because the story starting off is so convoluted and so messed up because it started off as like a comedy thing and then it started taking itself a lot more seriously and if you look into arcs before the reboot happen there's a bunch of editor notes like it's the yellow text box saying it's like this is a reference from sth number 210 or something and it's oh, just no. yeah there's just a bunch of those so yeah. I've seen lots of people who I, I would either try to recommend or see people who try to get into Archie Sonic, they would get just very confused because it's just a lot to take in because of how much has happened. Yeah, because if you, you don't know them all, man, like, oh, you're going to be lost. Because like, if they reference something that's before, then you're just going to get lost. Yeah. So IDW just has that, that benefit of it starts off pretty well. If you've played the Sonic video games, you basically know what's going on. You already know what's happening. Yeah. Nothing too crazy. But yeah. And then um, IDW starts pulling it. Yeah, unless they start. I, I don't know if I'll be an issue like five or ten years from now. We'll see. I doubt it because we're gonna strictly stick with game continuity stuff. So. Yeah. Which, which I, I, I'm glad you brought that up. So I wonder. Um, let's say we get a new Sonic game next year. That's like new and it's modern. Doesn't involve classic Sonic, please. Don't involve classic Sonic. Please. <laughs> Do you think uh, the comics will? But I think the co I think the comics would just take their own continuity at this point, right? It'd be like two uh, different. No, they're taking their own continuity. Yeah. Okay. Because cool. it? it is. It does take place. It does like take place after like what happened with forces and stuff. Mm -hmm. But after like all that, it's just its own continuity. Yeah. Apparently, uh, supposedly that's what they're doing. It's just going to be its own little continuity. It's taking like inspiration from the games. Yep. So it, if the next game does happen, that could be a possibility to be something. Yeah. That was also another confusing thing about Archie because it, it sounds crazy, but one of the last arcs before it died was the Unleashed arc. <laughs> but yeah. they didn't follow that's it. A one good arc. It was a good arc. Don't get me wrong. It was a fantastic arc. And then we threw a Fighters mini arc in the Unleashed yeah, arc. Yeah, I love that. <laughs> Um, it's how they got the fight Segata. It was like the best thing. Yeah, they'll take like their they'll take part of the source material, but they'll add their own twist to it. So they're not following the games entirely, but they'll take some of the source material. So, like I love their take on Unleashed. 
Me too. It was it was so good. I can't wait to talk about that eventually. <laughs> I think one of the best things was the explanation for why the Warhawk was like super out of control when I... the first half of the Sonic. Oh my dude, that was so good. I was uh at least Dark was just Mwah. Mwah. so good. Like, <laughs> as I was reading through it, I enjoyed like the like, the little mini seizures he was having, little yeah. mini angry seizures he was having. Yeah. <laughs> Cause the man's face man was just fucking pissed. Yeah. He was freaking out, man. <laughs> Especially Just that one, the where the ocean mighty one? about to fight. That Dude, was like yeah, one the ocean the one. That's the one that I think about the, the first one. The ocean one. one. That man was fucking when they're literally just gone. Yeah, he was yeah. like, I'd, I'd be losing it too if I was drowning. But like, he was just mad, mad. <laughs> drowning <laughs> friends getting fucked up. Yeah. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> and then the actual transformation. Yeah, like beautiful. Again, again, Ian Flynn just handles these characters so well. I I dare say perfectly. Just like nine times out of ten. I just, I'm just happy with how he handles said characters. I know there's some, like, I know there's, like, some controversy about, like, how Sally is handled sometimes, and all that. Sometimes she's all over the place and all that stuff, but in general, I think Ian handles the characters super well. And that's one thing I love about Sonic, the actual characters, because they're cool. <laughs> so, uh, comics, comics just put me in a happy place. You know what? I don't give enough credit for this, but I really like what they did to Antoine at the end of the Archie comics. Yeah. Make him something good. Yeah. Yeah. He's not a wuss anymore, and he and he and he smashed that uh that the coolest. And then uh, the last known thing about Antoine is that he got blown up by Metal Sonic and possibly was gonna die. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, dude. That that uh that 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 era of uh, the Sonic uh uh continuity, man, that was dark. I mean, there's a lot of dark moments, but <laughs> it was getting dark, right. dark. It was getting dark. Sec was that can't have that. Yeah, getting a little too dark there, sir. Yeah, um, I'm gonna miss all those little nuances though. Like, just all the extra characters we had. So it was like we had different like attempts for like world burning and stuff. I'm just really gonna miss that. I, I will. I will miss it too. But. Like the Secret Freedom Fighters, I like that. Dude, I love those guys me. so much. <laughs> Dude, I I love I love Nogus. I it's a crime he's not he hasn't been in a Sonic game yet. Like just having a, a magic type. Oh, then again, I guess Secret Rings of Black. Oh, and that no, I miss Mammoth Mogul. He was like my favorite. Yeah, that dude was awesome. <laughs> <laughs> and I really wanted to know um because I think uh he was Silver's mentor in the future because he survives that one, right? I also uh, yeah, well, he's like Mogul's like immortal because he's yeah. like one of the first uh, guardians. Yeah, of, I can't say Mogul's anymore. Yeah. <laughs> I can't say Mogul's anymore because we're not allowed. He's just straight up immortal. Yeah, yeah. He was around when the uh, not apocalypse happened, so that's yeah. why everybody's the way it is now. That's true, and and it's like Silver's learning about his his mentor and like how messed up he was because I know he had beef with Sonic a lot of times and all that stuff, so. Yeah. I don't know. Uh, well, I think I think uh, IDW Sonic has, has has a good future ahead of it. No, it's ruined. It's ruined. It's ruined because of zombies. Ah. <laughs> uh, no, we'll we'll everybody. get into that. We'll get into that next time because I do wanna. I think either after issue twenty, I think twenty nine will be the conclusion, or issue thirty. We'll see. Uh, we'll probably twenty. Nine, it might be I 29. I, I'm excited for 29. I won't. We're at least close because yeah, we know what's happening next. Yeah. I think it's 29 or 30, or either one of those is the conclusion. Yeah, but dude, I can't. I can, one of the cover issues. I, one thing that's annoying that a lot of cover issues will spoil a lot of stuff, but I won't spoil it in this video. In the off chance that you somehow are watching this and you haven't been spoiled yet, already one of, spoiled. One of the cover arts, one of the variant cover arts. I saw it, I was, the art A is so good, and B, I got so hyped for what I saw on that cover art too. I can't wait. I cannot wait. Oh, it's 29, I guess. Yeah, 29. Yo, yeah, but one of the covers just like outright spoils it. Yeah. I think it's, no, it's yeah, next, it's next week. Yeah, so next week. We'll, we'll probably be talking about this again after next week. <laughs> I'll look forward to that, because we got some stuff there's, to talk about. Yeah, there's a lot to talk about for a second year. Because um, I've seen I've seen lots of opinions on it, so it'll be fun. IDW bad. <laughs> All Sonic is bad. He's bad in every iteration he happens to be in. Smash, 
uh, TV shows, g video games. Yep. So, uh, any any final any final thoughts before final words before I end this video? Uh, don't read Archie. It's bad for your soul. No, he's wrong. Read Archie. Just read not Archie. The very beginning post of it. 160. <laughs> post 160. Yeah. That's, That's when the Ian comes in, so you're fine, man. Post 160, yeah. <laughs> Avoid kin penders at all costs. Fun you, penders! Fun you! Come on, you gotta love penders' art. It's just so... <sighs> so great! Dude, I love his Twitter arcs. <laughs> <laughs> still going to this day. I, <laughs> I, try, I try not to get... There's, there's some days where I want my Twitter fingers to just go in, but at the same time, I don't want to be blocked because I want to see what crazy stuff he does next. <laughs> oh. uh, man. Literally Butch Hartman for Sonic. Yeah. Honestly. Anything else, Ice, or you good? I don't know. Do we want to plug stuff? That you might wanna. be something. I, I'll, I always plug, uh, always plug you guys anyway, so. Well... If we're already going to be in the description, then it's not really going to matter. Yeah. So. Yeah, I just, I'll plug your Twitter, YouTube, and Twitch, so. Plug my OnlyFans. Plug your OnlyFans? Oh, snap. Yo, I gotta make money, bro. <laughs> <laughs> How else is it going to make money? Does your, does your OnlyFans cost $35? <laughs> yes. <laughs> 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 oh my god. <laughs> Uh, I have a friend who actually subbed to that to see how it was, and he says it's not very good. <laughs> <laughs> Damn, thirty dollars wasted. Quality for thirty-five dollars. Uh, he was curious, and he got what he. Wanted. You guys know who I'm talking about, by any chance? Is it Pika? No, not Pika. No, no, not the friend. Not the friend. No, I'm not gonna call it my friend. But uh, <laughs> the, the the my only fans page I'm referencing. Uh, no. Okay, it's uh it's that chick with the uh, bathwater. Oh, Belle Daphine? Yeah, her. Yeah. But, uh... Me. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Me. Okay. She's still cute either way. <laughs> <laughs> well, but, like, uh, yeah. She's all playing you niggas. She's literally playing you niggas for money. Yeah. Y'all are falling exactly. for her. Uh, yeah, I mean, I guess it's, 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 it's clearly <laughs> obvious, but, uh, these people... Like she's literally playing, yo. Some people can't resist. That's all I'm gonna say. This big horny and then this big horny responsibly. Yeah, exactly. I'm ho very responsibly horny, so I don't just throw my money. Yes, as he outright tells us that he's horny. <laughs> well, I'm not horny to and her. Leaves. I'm not going to admit that on a YouTube video. <laughs> <laughs> I'll, I'll admit it. <laughs> yeah, so, I'd fuck if I got the chance. So, uh, <laughs> I, I know this video is a, a premiere, but uh, in the off chance you're watching this like after a premiere, um, I would like to hear your thoughts about, uh, the comic books in the description below. If you read Archie or you're curious to read IDW. I know we kind of spoiled, like, the first 11 issues, but that was expected, but... but Not yeah. spoiled? You I love talking. To... <laughs> you had months to read this shit. Yeah, you, you really did have months to read it. <laughs> Uh, so yeah, you next... had months to prepare. Yeah, so next time we'll be we'll be talking about the zombie arc, and then after we do the zombie arc, I need to figure out what we should do for Archie. If we should do the very beginning or skip a bunch of stuff. But at the same time, I kind of don't want to skip and make fun of the earlier issues. We gotta make fun of the dumb stuff. <laughs> okay, you we will. We yeah. can make fun of the dumb stuff because like I think one through twenty was like literally just comedy. It's literally Archie, yeah. like actual Archie. <laughs> like, I know 1, one through, through 20, 20 was like, just, uh, 1 through 20 is just comedy, of, and then like 21 just yeah. takes a fucking turn. <laughs> and I'm like, oh, <laughs> oh, yeah. oh like, what trying to do hole. What? Because, <laughs> um, I know my friend who was getting me like, like way back before when I was getting into Archie, and that was like around like 2012 or 13. Yeah. One of those. Um, when he's getting me into it, he told me that, like, I should really just skip 1 through 20, because it's literally just comedic shit. And I was like, alright, but, like, I'm gonna read it anyway still. Because I was curious. Yeah. Read through it, I'm just like, huh. He really wasn't kidding. Okay, so then then, then maybe we should start from 21, and then go from there. 21 just fucking just takes that turn, and I'm like, why? <laughs> <laughs> uh, and then we get weirder. Yeah. 
and it just gets weirder and weirder gets and weirder. weirder. <laughs> Keep going down that rabbit hole. Not the Ducoulette kind. Always butcher her last name. Anyways, yeah, this has been going on for two hours now, so, uh... <laughs> I'm just gonna end it right here. <laughs> Yo, just like my Forces gameplay. <laughs> oh, man, well, perfect! <laughs> <laughs> you beat the whole game in the time it took for us to do this. <laughs> Literally did. Well, no, nah, it was a little bit shorter than that. What was that? If you cut out, I'm pretty sure if you cut out, like, all the fucking menus, the world map and whatnot, it would be way shorter. I'm probably not gonna Honestly. cut the menus. Cause, like, I went through the- I went through the story beginning to fucking end. <laughs> What, well, what avatar did they crashed? Uh, bird. Bird. Oh, okay. Double jump is very useful. Yeah, double jumps are always good. Even though the fucking god, it is, like the fucking targeting, the little target log on Ugh. is uh the little homing attack it has is fucking terrible. Ugh. Cause like sometimes you won't even do it. Yeah. Cause um there are like some moments that you see me like just jump. You you like see me jump at something. But there's a lock on, and then I die. Because <laughs> lock on doesn't work. The lock on don't fucking work. It's the same shit that happened with uh, Sonic's homing attack, too. Mm. Where, like, the lock on will show up, but he won't go. So I ended up dying. <laughs> okay. <laughs> <laughs> uh... This is very apparent in null space. Very apparent in null space. Because I think it happened twice to me. That's funny. Well, that does it for this video. So thank you all for watching, and sign our. Get out.